like, oh, Bishoy's not gonna give you the dad answer, bro. I feel like Bishoy dads us. It's it's so true. Like, it, do you guys feel like he's the dad of the group, like always or no? Bishoy's the dad that doesn't care about his yeah, children. Like, <laughs> like what? Why? 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 Where do like, the kids come in? We're the kids. Like our group yeah. is the kids. Oh. Like you, but just, you just don't care. Yeah, you just dad everybody. Like you always give the boring answer yeah the boring answer Bro. i don't know i don't even mean to insult you though but no that's no just, like, it's i'm not, a bad I'm thing not sometimes. offended you by need, it you need it's true y- yeah you shouldn't be i feel like i live my days uh, like as i live my days <laughs> as opposed to people yeah, that are you're dead. sounding like you're 40 yeah. no no like I, I feel like i had my my fair share of fun okay we you're can, 23 but we can all say that though Yo, you're 23, but at the by same, the way. No, but yeah, like what? You're not. Know. You're not that old. Like I, you still have no, prime no, years. No, I know, ahead I know. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like I'm past that stage. Where not, it, not saying, what? like, I'm not saying that, like, I'm ahead of you guys or whatever. But like, I don't know. I feel like, and it's not like I'm holding myself back from having fun or anything. Like, no, no, obvi- no, 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 not hold yourself yeah. back. But I feel like you make less risky decisions. Ooh. Would you say that? Yeah, I was gonna hit him. I was gonna mess with his yeah. head. I was gonna mess <laughs> with his head. No, no, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I okay. I think, but in but terms of what though? Okay, let's like th- let's do some risky financial decisions. Let's okay, well it. you know when it comes to financials, I'm I'm I've made my fucking riskiest ass. I'm trying to I'm trying to get Bashoy to go to the Drake concert with me. Oh, that's an arm and a kidney. Bro, it's three hundred fifty dollars. But also, Bashoy, you love Drake, bro. Yeah, let's do it. Just like you, have you ever been to a Drake concert? Actually, no. Right? no. You're gonna go the rest of your life saying you've yeah. never been to a Drake concert. What if Drake, I'm okay with that. What? If, what? So if I'm, Drake, I'm if, actually okay with if that. If Drake stops touring and like Khalas, like he's done, yeah. you're gonna be like okay with never seeing him live. Yeah. What? It's I think I'd go crazy. Yeah, I I want. Have you ever been to see Drake? Yeah. No. Okay. Do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, three hundred and fifty is a lot. Like I wouldn't personally pay that for Drake. I don't mm-hmm. love Drake that much. But yeah. if it was, if I was as obsessed as Bashoy, I'd pay that. If this was like Justin Bieber, I'd pay. I'm hoping Justin Bieber goes no, on tour I soon. Can't. Bro, I was praying. just talking about this. I think this was his last tour. No, no, no. No, he no, I, I think yeah. so. Bro, he's Drake had... or Bieber? Bieber, obviously. Oh, no, no. He has to go on another one. Like, there must I be. I so. I can't go the rest of my life saying I've never been to a Bieber concert. No, it's too good. I need to go. I've been like four times. I don't know. I... Too good. I would want to go, actually. I'd want to so go. Justin the, Bieber concert? Depending on how much it is. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bishoy, like. <laughs> no. You I... can't live life like that. Yo, yo, I was, so this summer I was with the boys and I was like, yo, we need to like start planning some things, for, like some nice things for the summer. Yeah, like a oh, summer bucket list. Yeah. Vibes. And Bishoy, and I was like, okay, Bishoy, like, are you down to do stuff? He's like, yeah, my budget's $40 a month. <laughs> Bro, that's like one weekend <laughs> eating out. Yeah, I'm, da- I'm down with that. I'm down. Bro, I actually think I spend so much money all the time in the summer. Like summer is the worst financial t- time yeah, period yeah, I, for me. I think, it, okay, you know what? Let, okay <laughs> the reason why i'm doing this no 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 no. The, let me justify it the reason why i'm doing this is i think i spent something about twelve thousand dollars last summer twelve yeah bruv why yeah what are you spending like money what? on what well it's it's wait it's, wait no but to are be honest serious? i feel like every, i'm dead ass no that's crazy like and over the three months or four months of summer yeah and probably probably eight to ten the, the year before that but i feel like no but it, it that makes sense ish mm-hmm. because every weekend i could spend around like a hundred dollars yeah on food and going out maybe even more yeah and we did a lot it, it was just well, he's also yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm i'm spending for me and nor he's also like yeah, paying that's for true two. that's true bro yeah Yo, you, you should keep tabs yeah like hit her hit her with the tab at the end of the summer and be like yo you, you need to eat to My be like in- 6k this is the invoice yeah <laughs> like, this is the, <laughs> the invoice <laughs> literally be like yeah this is the breakdown yeah your grand total is like 6k i take cash debit but credit. i also feel like 40 dollars is unrealistic like you can't have fun yeah. with four dollars a month well that's the thing i don't plan on maybe it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's not like a, yo, I'm, so. I'm fully prepared to just have not a shit summer but to just have a free summer like like lay low no like zero dollar summer why this is the summer i'm trying to do stuff. any any motive that's for free i'm there count me in don't even ask me but what motives are for free though there's literally know. nothing to yeah, get creative like hit up lake shore True. oh yeah i was gonna yeah. just True. five guys walking down lake no. shore no but it's also a chill vibes i'm into that yeah i'll do the occasional let's go to the movies right yeah, yeah. Uh, on, no tuesdays, on tuesdays yeah. only yeah. oh my <laughs> right? god guys did you watch the little mermaid no. no, I did it. It's good. 
Actually, I have a funny meme though about it. But. Like some people hate it, and don't get me wrong. To be honest, actually, no, it's not the best. It's mid, but I think with like, I th- I think Sebastian carried. Sebastian. The, yeah, the crab. Yeah, I know, but like, Sebastian just carried, and Ursula like, carried. That's it. Damn. Is it is it the actor like the voice acting or just the, how they did wait? The they're plot? Anim- the fish are animated as well. Yeah, right? yeah, the they're... fish are animated. Okay. It's a, it's such a weird fucking animation. It's so shit. Why? It looks you, real did, though. Did you like the animation? Like yeah, you... yeah, yeah. I oh. think it was done well. Really? Yeah. Did you watch the trailer? The trailer looks yeah. so bad. I just didn't like that they added new songs to the. Oh, they changed, they it changed up? the songs. Yeah. yeah, like they kept the original like main songs, but they added songs in between, and I was like, "Whoa!" Oh, actually, I don't like that. Oh, I didn't like, know Like, keep it original or don't do it. Like, you can't outdo the original. I think they did that for a lot of the live action movies. They I they changed some stuff in Lion King, Aladdin as well. I, I don't. They know. had the classics, but I know like Will yeah. Smith did his own. I feel stuff. like they ha- they make it the musical vibe, and I'm not into that. Yeah, I don't know. I I just think it's it's such a shit idea. Like, why try and remake uh, live action? Bro. It's always worse than the original. Like no one ever says, "Oh, the live action." For better. the cinematics, no one cares. So it doesn't excited. make as much money for the Barbie movie, though. Oh, oh I'm so I'm there. I'm, wa- I'm yeah. watching Barbie movie I'm, as soon as it for drops. For Margot Robbie, though, Oppenheimer and and Barbie, right away. Oh, just back to back. Yeah, walking out of Oppenheimer, going into Barbie. Which one's oh. first? Oppenheimer. Why, guys? What's Actually, Oppenheimer? Huh? What movie is that? It's like that's weird. Like like Christopher, World War that's the II. one. You know the guy from uh, 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 what's it? Peaky Blinders. I haven't watched Peaky Blinders. Murphy. Guys, I watched the first episode and I didn't like it. I, I didn't either, but you know the guy with the blue eyes and the... Sure, did you guys, sure. Did you watch yeah. Succession? You... No. Is it good? It's really good. Succession is like... I just got Crave. I just actually got Crave for The Idol. Have you guys heard about The Idol? The Weekend? The Weekend one? Yeah. Bro, oh. I don't know how to feel about it at all. I it feels like it's it. like a Euphoria remake. No, 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 no. But don't disrespect Euphoria like that. Oh, my bad. Because... My, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad. No. no my bad. Because what I get from the vibe of this is that this like absolutely just has like zero plot. It's just like weird situations or like weird scenes. Okay. But Euphoria it, it, actually there has, is like, really a, weird scenes, but I feel like it's one of those where it's like a dark, twisted show. Like you want to know more. Yeah. But it's also fucked up. Like it's really weird. I can't even explain it. It's I, also I like I've only seen like the first. I mean, it's only two episodes out right it's now. It's three episodes. Or three. Yeah. I'm not caught up. Yeah. I've and seen it, some scenes on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, what scenes? <laughs> no, name them specifically. Oh, oh okay. I'll, I'll name no, them. no, please don't. I'm just joking. Oh. I know. Like, Did you see the one where he's like? Don't Where the guy's just grabbing the, the girl's hips and he's yeah, like, Yo, he's like, don't yeah. fucking touch my girl. Da, da, da. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I actually feel like the weekend's like that in real life. Like I, he gives I, off his character. I wouldn't I wouldn't be I wouldn't put it past him, yeah. Yeah. But like at the same time, like so a lot of people said that they hated the show because of how shit his character is, like how toxic. It, he, it, no, it's I feel like scary. that is the weekend. But that is him. That's, bro, him. that's uh, him through his music though, yeah. low key. If you ever listen to yeah. any of like the first few weeks, like the trilogy, mm-hmm. the weekends like it's yeah. gonna gaslight you to like yeah. that. To, like, no, and it's actually kind of scary. Yeah, I'm... like I actually see him yeah, in it's... in the character. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I see that too. I, I want you. I want people to watch it more so I can talk about it with people because it's actually like crazy. It's good. I'm not. What about it? Do you like? Like I just, it, bro. It's it's just dark. I don't know. Hmm. Like, I understand people saying there's no plot to it because, like, mm, the acting is, like, mid. But you just want to know what happens to their... Like, where did the weekend's character come from? Like, they don't... Ha- he doesn't have a backstory mm-hmm. or his backstory isn't shown yet. Like, so, it, it everything's kind of, mysterious. Yeah, yeah it's kind it kind of, of piques your interest yeah. a little bit. Yeah, like, so I just yeah. want to know, even though it's kind of shit, but still. Yeah. So, you okay. liked Euphoria, though? Like you I thought, love Euphoria. Wow. Like, I can't believe they take years to film and release it. Like, Why? Is it not done? I think it's no, it's not done. No, they have, there's they one have more season. One more, Ooh. but yeah. then uh, there's a bunch of actors that said they're not in the fourth season. Though, no, I don't remember to be honest. There's a couple I remember. I'm pretty sure the main ones are there. Oh, yeah, but no, Euphoria is too good. I tried watching. I couldn't really. Why? There, there are some shows that I actually can't watch. Like um, Euphoria is one of them, and the other one was the Thirteen Reasons Why. Why, bro? If like if the scenes get too gory. Like, but it's even not for too, me, too gory. 13 Reasons Why it wasn't too gory. Bro, 13 Reasons like, Why w- with the razor, like, yeah, straight no, showing you everything. Her, like, yeah, yeah, but no, it's not that bad. No, I can't watch it. If it's, if it's something, like, if and it's that's like that at the gory. Very, I think that's at the very end, isn't it? It is at the very yeah. end. Yeah, I know, but, like, I, I saw a clip of that, and I was like, no way I'm going to watch a show like that. Oh. Like, mm. You got it spoiled. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you, you know what happens. It's the one thing that everyone talks about in the show. But it's, like, real. 
Yeah, but like, I feel like you don't have to show me that. I I get why they would like I, they want to generate that disgust and and that yeah. like to to evoke emotion out of you. I get that. Yeah. But at the same, I feel like there's a line. There's a line that if it just mm. goes too far, too gory, and it's just to the point where I can't watch it. Did you but that watch? just that's just you a you thing though. Yeah, Is it? I'm kind of cool so. with it. I don't know. Yeah, I can't do sharp objects and and syringes and some people like don't knives. like blood and stuff. Yeah, um, and th- and that's the thing with Euphoria too. I think Euphoria was the second episode where like she met up with the guy in the motel. It was Nate's dad, I think. Oh, when he raped her. Yeah, and and they were they had they were doing a bunch of drugs and whatever with the syringes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, there was yeah, a, yeah, yeah. That scene is oh. fucked up too. Euphoria yeah. is kind of fucked. So up. there's like, a lot of messed up things in yeah. Euphoria. To be honest, <laughs> like you could say. Well, I the stopped right show. there. I stopped right there, and <laughs> that just made me feel so like uneasy and like yeah. you know. I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. To I be honest. It reaches a point where I watch. I don't even enjoy watching these shows. I just watch them just so I like, keep up with pop culture. No, for yeah. really? Yeah, I just want to know what's this. happening. Are you the type of person that just like follows trends ish? Like you want to be in the loop? Yeah, I just want to be in the loop. Like if it's po- if it but pops I'm up like on my that TikTok, sometimes. if it pops up on my TikTok and I don't know what's happening, I get so frustrated. I'm like, what yeah, is? Like what I need to I know. Need to kn- oh my god! <laughs> this is why you're watching Succession or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, Succession. I I heard about it on a podcast. Yeah. Um, and they were like, oh, skip like ten minutes. I was like, no, that's not happening. I watched the entire show. Oh my god! And then went yeah. back and watched like the ten minutes where they talked yeah. about it. Them. You uh, watch the whole show just for ten minutes of a podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I wish we had listeners it. like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't disrespect me as your listener, okay? Did we ever make you watch a whole show? Because it's disgusting. <laughs> no, no, that's not the no. only reason I watched it. No, but it, it like it was pretty popular. Succession. Yeah, yeah. Popular. I heard about it. I, heard I, it. Yeah. I saw it all over TikTok. That's that's how I heard it's about really, it. It's really, it's like if you like Sopranos, you kind of like it. It's kind of, it's like, it's got like a mob feel, but mm-hmm. it's like more, um, Corporate, no? Corporate. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the same, similar mob feel. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much like some guy who owns a big company dies and all of his kids are trying to get the company or get it's his like wealth. It's like the, the Louis Vuitton, uh, company. What LVMH? Yeah. LVMH. Well, the guy died? Uh, well, I, I think he's, uh, he's just passing, he's retiring and he's passing off his, uh, um, like his role to someone one of his mm-hmm. kids and they were mm-hmm. just debating i don't know if he, you know if he decided i don't know i have no idea i yeah. just know lvmh yeah well it was the ceo of lvmh and he's essentially retiring and he's tr- like they were talking about mm-hmm. him picking like a predecessor um oh bro i'd fight for that shit if that was well all That's his kids they all own like companies of different like their own yeah mm-hmm. so many different like why doesn't he just split it evenly or does someone have them. to run the company? You could hire an external CEO. And I think CEO. you need someone as like a CEO for like voting rights. Or, oh, you're, you're talking like hire someone else. Still? Yeah, you eh, could you, you could, could always hire someone external. It's like disrespectful though. You have like all these kids with the fat resumes. Like how many? Yeah, yeah. but. Yeah, they're all Napo babies. But what if they? What if oh, they, oh, for sure. But no, no, no. But no, they all. <laughs> they didn't do anything. Like, the, like <laughs> they're all like execs in all these brands. Like there's a guy that's like an exec in like Tissot, like the watch brand. And yeah. I don't know. That's all I remember. Mm. <laughs> There's a guy that's like a, a VP of at Gucci. Like, mm. yeah. yeah. You can still be a stakeholder or whatever. You don't yeah. have to be CEO. Yeah. yeah, back to the main topic. Mm. Yeah. What are you going to do with $40 a month? Yeah, no. Yeah, like, let's just dive in. <laughs> this is the summer I wanted to do things. You know? I, well, just yeah. do it without him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah but like, how him. is it bad to go to a Drake concert alone? Just by yourself? Yeah. Yeah. No, how? I don't think so. I've been to concerts alone. Really? You do feel lonely at yeah, that's first, what I'm saying. but you can make friends there for sure. As a girl, I would be scared to go alone to a concert. Why? What concerts did you go alone to? I've been to Justin Bieber alone. I've been to Shawn Mendes fine. once alone. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fire. Fine. Like, I feel like if... if it's if, like rest of the girls. Yeah, yeah, if the demographic is mainly girls, then like, yeah. Yeah, no. I, but like, if you go to like a Travis Scott like concert alone as a girl, it's like, bro. Why? Really? Well, I don't know. No, nothing's gonna happen. I don't think so. I don't trust so. people like that. Really? I don't know. I feel like the demographic for Drake is like a lot of girls. <laughs> no, it could no. Be, but no, but it's mixed. It's I think mixed, it's definitely mixed. I, th- mixed. I think it's, yeah. Maybe a 60 40. I don't even know which side it would swing. Yeah, what? Okay. But no, I think it'd be more guys, if anything. Really? I feel like more guys rate Drake heavy more than girls. Don't you I think? Don't know. I don't know. I could see both sides. I don't want to go. I don't know. I think Vishoy's a good investment. It's true. And you're <laughs> gonna. You. I know you're the type to be like, but that's not what investment means. But 
Yo, the ROI. You're just the type. You're just no, the type. You're just no, the no. Okay. I, I the like reason... broke it down in every possible way for him. I was like, I'll pay for you, and you could like pay me do- forty dollars a month for the yeah, next. Yeah, finance. Like, it. Yeah, I'll give you financial oh. like support. I used here. to do that with Pichoy with shoes all the time. Oh, actually, he'd buy me shoes, and I'd be like, "Hey, I'm gonna pay you this much a month." Like, no, for real. <laughs> and for he real. said, "Okay." Yeah. Damn. I would. That's. I'm actually so. Well, okay he's with still that. gonna get the money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but like uh, I know you're not gonna finesse me. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. I could. I could have honestly, but you know, I'm, I'm honest. <laughs> okay. I don't like. You could finesse me. What am I gonna do? No, <laughs> but I. I don't even want to go. Like it's. It's. So weird. I would go if it's Where's like dirt cheap. Where's the passion? Cheap. Where's the excitement? The thing this is, is your idol. No, yes, but I talked about this so many times. I know he's you did. Such a bad performer. I don't want to see that shit. Like he's just gonna go and like give the mic to the audience like seventy percent of the time. But that's fine. And, and sing everything off tune, off beat, and he's just gonna. So be this was like a different tour, like back in the day. You would yes, one hundred percent. See that? That's my argument, and that's why like. I would. I'm not gonna be upset if like, oh, it's his last tour, or me like later on. But in don't life you ever wonder like, been. what if? No, not with this. I know it's gonna be like. I know what it's gonna be like. It's I fine. don't know, man. I just think concerts are it for me. Yeah. Like I'm the type of person that will spend all my money on like these type of events. I think it depends on. Like I've only been to one. What was your? It was J. Cole. Oh, J. Cole, yeah. yes. And you, you said talked it, about it was such a trash. It was for your eyes I loved only. It. I loved it. It was though. such a trash album. And yeah. you still loved it. Because the vibe. I love the okay. vibe. Okay. But the vibe could I'm be not crazy. paying $300 for a vibe. I'll pay $300 for a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> like, Show me. Stop being I could, I could do that myself. I could set up an event where I could like like rent a space and then sell tickets to people. Like $2 tickets. Come and listen to Drake songs and dance with me. They do that at clubs. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're, like, you're spending $40. Yeah, okay. You're actually so annoying. It's the same thing. <laughs> like, <you're Okay>. so <laughs> if I'm, just live a little. If I want a vibe, that's the vibe right there. Bro, <laughs> like, you you're new? just going to see <laughs> Michelle holding up a speaker. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> yeah, we'll have We'll have a bartender. To be honest, low-key side hustle. Yeah. Can I join set you? Up parties? Yeah. No, for real. I actually, like, Since I'll you're set a promoter. I'll like, set it up. You just become a promoter. <laughs> no, guys. Promoters <laughs> make bank. I, I hate that lifestyle. I ha- it's no, so no, cringy no. to me. It is cringy. I follow bear promoters on uh, Instagram just because, like, you know, like yeah. to get into booths and stuff. But, bro, th- their lifestyle is crazy. How does that work as a girl? I always wonder. Like, do they oh. DM you and stuff? Or how does that work? They'll just let you know, like, if any events are going on. Or, like, if, let's say, like, you're going to the club with your friends and you mm-hmm. want, like, hey, like, can I come into your booth, like, this night, whatever. Yeah. That's but it. like do they follow you like you, they're the ones that kind yeah, of reach yeah. out sometimes it depends hmm. most of the time yeah you'll meet them either there or they'll follow you it's like real estate agents for kind clubs. of kind of <laughs> it's, it's it's <laughs> it's no, the industry is yeah. crazy like for sure like i follow this guy that makes a lot of money from it but i could never see myself like going out like thursday friday saturday sunday sometimes even so more many people weekends. are like that like i can't no no but i can't do it but you, you like you have to live the lifestyle. Like yeah. you have to yeah. be out. Like you have to be. No, but you I have feel like to have I'd, that I'd, I'd get bored of it all. Like after a couple times. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like the once in a while, like going out, like having fun, like drinking, whatever, is like nice. But if you're doing yeah. it consistently, I'm like, bruh. I don't. I like agree. This I agree. Yeah. It gets. It, it takes a novelty out of it. Right. It, it no longer becomes special. Yeah. It's too much. I can't. And organizing all these events, like it's not. not. So if you were, so if they reach out to you, you go in for free. Yeah. And you attend for free. And yeah. I'm and assuming. drinks are on them. Yeah. Damn. Jeez. Obviously, what? Okay, I'm sorry, bro. Yo. I didn't know. <laughs> we, no. we don't have it like that. But, <laughs> but I feel like if you're like with your friends, you can bring in your guy friends too. Definitely not. No, no, you can. Mm. It's happened before. Yeah, where are you going? What clubs are you going to? Like, like, like we went out We went out for Mario Said's birthday mm-hmm. for at Juliet and... If anything, the guys were the one that were that saw the promoter like yo, like blah blah, blah and he let. Yeah, maybe if you're like booth. boys with a promoter, but that's yeah. I feel like that's even harder than like. Yeah, but. Eh, it depends I, I unless you depends. already know them and they become. Yeah, a promoter, yeah, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. But it could happen. Hmm. Free think? drinks for all. Yeah, you know. It's interesting. It's an interesting. But I, it's I, an interesting industry, but I would. Never. I think it's so shady, though. It is definitely shady. Like the the clubbing industry. Like if you're working there as a promoter or as like a. It's definitely toxic. Bottle service. Yeah. I can't imagine yeah. these guys aren't doing. I'd love to be a bottle service girl just for like a month. 
Why? I just want to see what like, it's like. You just want to live the life. And yeah, see, just like, live the, the life and see, see what it's, it's like. like, and see what the tip is like, like the the tips, like the money you get. I'm after. sure it's good, but I'm also sure there's like equally as, like, as horrifying shitty? experiences. Maybe. Like you'll For see like sure. creepy ass guys. Like, but that's like everywhere though. Yeah, but like dull. Okay. Hyper concentration. <laughs> okay, but whatever. Like <laughs> you deal with that situation. I don't know. I'd love to do it for a month. Yeah, fair. And see what it's like. And just like hold the, the signs. Bottles. Yeah, and the signs. <laughs> like, uh, so Wouldn't fun. you feel awkward when people, like, if let's say you're holding like something and, and everyone's filming. recording you? Like, <laughs> no. No? No. You Record just smile. Record all and... you want. <laughs> Go okay, up. okay, fair. I, I would feel so awkward. I'd be like, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> there would be a point where I'd be over. I'm like, bro, let's, let's keep yeah. going. But. Yeah, I want I want you as my bottle goal. hundred <laughs> percent. I'd love to see Bashar yeah. as a bottle. So I could rock the tank top. No, for sure. Yeah. 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 I'm spending sure. like two hundred dollars on this yeah. bottle. I I want you to pop up with it, <laughs> like full tank top, short skirt, everything. Short skirt or booty shorts? Or booty shorts? <laughs> no, <laughs> you gotta pick which one. They're definitely not no, wearing but there's anything. There's definitely like the skirt short. Yeah, with like, the oh, short oh, underneath. Oh, you I see. I could definitely pull those off. Yeah, I want to see that. Just. Chest hair, belly, <laughs> rat tail, everything out. No, no, no. You guys kill me. They oh, should do that. We Wait. need to stop talking about armpit hair. That's a, that's a good business idea. Do what? like a reverse club where. Oh, the girl is the promoter? We, yeah. Everything, yeah. Everything's <laughs> reverse. Isn't everything that just reverse. gay <laughs> yeah. No, no. Gay clubs. I feel like, yeah, that's gay clubs, no? Guys come in for free. Girls have to pay. But but to make sure that like it doesn't go like derail, Sausage fest. you got to make sure there's like a percentage. And then you stop But no guys girl in. is ever going to come into your yeah. club. No. Because no girl's going to pay. No, they'll come in for like the novelty. Like, oh my God, look, at you know this club is so cool. We have to go once like maybe i see what you're trying to say that's a gay bar that's 100 percent what a gay I, bar is i see what you're trying to say that it's like different yeah so people would want to like check yeah it out, people but, want to try it out but not really i don't think so but not really yeah. and like you'll actually like have what's like, gonna be different about your club we're all gonna be you're still gonna be drinking bro, the bottle service is gonna be hilarious it's gonna be a bunch of like guys, guys? with like dad bods in like in in crop tops and you shorts. actually have a better chance of getting i'd rather like, see the guy like actual like hot guys yeah though. i was gonna oh, say you oh. have a better chance of getting some like really good like, yeah, like fit if, dudes bringing okay then, 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 okay like, then you're back at a if gay, it was like bar. magic mic vibes <laughs> that's a gay nightclub then. no but it's not a gay bar why that's what if they it's do like magic mic vibes have that, you that's, seen those shows that, that's, that's not gay though yes but what, that's what they from- offer sure so i already lo- like i don't bring anything new to the market mm. yeah, yeah. So i want something special <laughs> yeah yeah i'm just telling you from like the girls you're the one that said dad bods were in Come yeah on. that's yeah. true guys i got roasted <laughs> yeah, for yeah. that so fucking heavy but like Wait, everybody you. you got roasted yeah, yeah every day. heavy like people came up to me after like i can't believe you said that i'm like people came wait, up wait, wait. to me and said are you sure say i was being serious was it mostly guys or girls it I'm was both both like yeah. i can't believe like i can't believe yeah. people resonated so much by just that one yeah. line but it's just like okay yeah, but i said it how dad body are you if it's extreme like okay but i, I said if you have like, like a bit of a curious it's not that serious i like i don't have a preference in terms of like how you look oh you know? man yo I you're gonna it, I yeah i wish uh, i just like this is you're gonna get a backlash for no for, this for again. Uh, yes yeah. <laughs> people again are gonna, <laughs> they're gonna be like bro sarah what the fuck are you saying people are gonna walk up to you and tell you the exact same thing last time but, but it's cool but it's not that serious it's like i it's very like strong of you to just double down on something you just said last time but what do you mean double down no but it's not, it's, like it's not like it's controversial i don't it's think not, it's not it wasn't controversial, controversial at all dad bots I dad bots are not in like that's but look, how look, dad body are you no no I, let me let me say something i don't think dad bod are, you, are in like do you have a dad bod if you if you have a dad bod i don't think you're gonna be like wow like people are like cat calling you on the streets like yeah. you're not gonna be everyone's number one holy grail but but you are like a you're but respected you can, you can have you're a respected. dad you can have a dad bod bod and still be but you're respected <laughs> <laughs> you have a place in the market, okay? There's, there's. I a, get it. Do you, you know? think you have a dad bod? To a range, yeah, yeah. To a like, what? I wouldn't say Bashoy like is ugly because he has a dad bod. Yeah, I, I definitely. You know what I mean? I, I would say, yeah. Do you have bod. a dad bod? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like it's not that serious. I no, I. I didn't think it was a bad thing to say. No, I just think it's people not. maybe think they. I think people think my type is like yeah, dad bod. Extreme. It's no, not. like your type is not that. But I think that's like why they the were so shook. Like extreme buff guys, like yeah. lean, only muscle, yeah. And I think they were just shook. But like your type no is one... definitely not that bod. 
It like it, it depends, bro. What my, mean it depends. I think. <laughs> I, I, okay, okay no, 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 no. I don't no. think she means like that. Bod, like the biggest beer belly ever, yeah. and like you know the guy who just doesn't care about himself at all. And it, no, no, you sure have to for sure take care of yourself. Yeah. No. So I like, you know. I, I get where she's coming from. I exactly. Thank Someone you, put Thank that you. no, You're welcome. Thank you for Actually. representing the dad bod. <laughs> the dad bod <laughs> you're, support, you're supporting her because you have a dad. <laughs> yeah. Like any uh, other world, you would be getting flamed. She, she's our uh, influencer. You know, she's I'm, a, I'm the she's a spokesperson. Ambassador. Yeah. yeah. The there dad bod community. There you're welcome. Go. Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you. Like I, that's fine. <laughs> I, I'm not hitting against dad bods. I just can't believe that was such a big thing. I don't think I they're the think, ideal. That, yeah, like, I don't that's think what it's I'm trying popular. to say. No, it's not it's the popular. ideal. No, I, I think it's popular. I just don't think it's the ideal. Like, it's not everyone's number one thing. But re- yeah. realistically, who gets number one? Like, who? That's right? true. No one no one gets what they're looking for exactly, right? That's, I'm not saying we're going to settle. Also, so yes sad. and no, though. Yes no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I hope I'm no never... No one is perfect. S- yeah, but I don't think I ever want to settle and be like oh not yeah. settle but I, I you tell me you're for sure gonna get with a girl that has like the dream body i hope that you're so. looking for i hope so like with a guy that has no, a dream he- body okay sure we all hope so okay welcome to fucking <laughs> Earth. Or is, it, is it gonna happen <laughs> Yo, yeah. shitting on yeah. my dreams no like, i'm saying like, for all of us i'm saying set your expectations but you're, like <laughs> you're not getting there i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just saying for all of us the average person that's true right okay, we, yeah. we all have an ideal dream body that we want you're so passionate about okay. yeah no but Bishoy is like you're no. really going like okay okay when the hands start waving you know is <laughs> yeah. into it <laughs> like why I, do you sound so upset <laughs> Yo, my like dad bots, <laughs> well, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend dad bots like that. Like I promise you, like you look great. No, you're I'm, losing weight. Yes. No, but sure, you are losing. Yeah. Weight. But I'm I'm just trying to Dude, say that. There's like, a oh what? There's a video I have of you sleeping in your car. Yeah. That's like peak dad bot. Oh, that was that was that was actually last summer or not even. Was it? I, I'm gonna find it. I think that was in February. This February? <laughs> I think. So. No, no, I, no, I was not. actually like. Oh, oh, the one from the one that you took. Yeah. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually like the last time I saw you at the gym, I was like, whoa, like. Thank you. Thank you're you. doing great. Appreciate Good it. job. Wow, Anyways, no. back to what you were saying about the dream person. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I was just saying that everyone has a dream body that they're looking for yeah. in their significant other. Wow. Yeah. You've, mm-hmm. How'd you pull it up so quick? <gasps> Bishoy. Wow. What's the date on this? That's crazy. I think it's like twenty. Even the dad 20, shirt with the June patterns. June second, twenty nineteen. This was four years yeah. ago. Twenty nineteen. Wow. Yeah, I don't. This shirt has to go by. Yeah. The way. I still have the shirt. Oh my I, god! And you wear it? Yeah. I, I, to work? I look Oof. good in it. Yeah. That's crazy. This Yo, the mustache I, too. Let's not point that out. This yeah. is when I had the goatee. This <laughs> yeah, is the goatee <laughs> stage. But I like the goatee stage. It, you can't even see the goatee. It just yeah, looks like the mustache. Yeah, like, yeah, this is giving pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's actually giving pedophile. Can I show this to the camera? <laughs> yeah, show sure, it. Okay, yeah. I don't know if it's gonna see it, but oh my! Like, just zoom in a bit. Yeah, yeah. This is the dad bod. But we could bring. Yeah, it to the this camera is the well. that's the dad bod. This is what a dad bod but is. That's like dad bod, not extreme even. Dad bod I think plus. Some are worse. Yeah, yeah. B- but what I was trying to say is that sure we all have our dreams, but yeah. we also have. To be realistic, I guess. No, I'm not saying to be realistic. I'm not saying that like you settling is you're getting the ugly version of what you don't want. Because it's still good. You still like it. It's just not perfect. But you like it. But no one's perfect though. That's what I'm saying. But I feel like You guys believe that thing where it's like, oh, when you find the right person and you really love them, then like You'll settle for their looks. Or it's not even settle. Like you don't really like the flaws don't like I believe that to an extent, to yeah. an extent. they're like you, they become perfect to you even though like to obviously an extent I, I there's definitely a line and I'm sorry I will die on this hill but everyone everyone agrees with me but no one will admit it okay there is a line which I will just I'll call it now it's the ugly line okay and if you pass the ugly line I feel like no matter what you do you're always gonna be ugly you, no no matter how much people like or like if if I was a girl, okay, and or let's say if I was a guy, if I was okay. a guy, well, if I am a guy. <laughs> <laughs> like let's say in a hypothetical situation, you were a guy. <laughs> okay, no. where do we go no. from there? Let's say I'm, <laughs> I'm with I'm, you. I'm I'm really ugly, okay, and like this if? is this and this is. <laughs> This is just Steven yeah, yeah, and Sarah roasting <laughs> Mishoy for an hour straight. For a second time. <laughs> I'm objectively Welcome ugly, back. okay? Like, no one will ever, like, look at me and say, I think he has something. 
I think there are some people. I'm not saying there are some people that are Why like that. Why are you that. putting yourself down like that? I don't I'm like just, that. If, if, if. Okay. okay. If, if. And I think if, if you're just genuinely ugly, no one will look at you and say, oh, but like, I love her. So like, you're actually such a That's bitch. Crazy. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let me. Can I clarify? Can I clarify? Okay, but everybody's crazy. definition of ugly is different. Yeah, it's different. Sure, sure. But there, I feel like there's a line. But I also get what you mean. I feel like there's some people where but people at the same can time, agree, like, oh, that girl's not good looking. But, but at the you same know what's time, crazy. That girl finds like an equally ugly yes, guy. Yes, and they're just like match. Yes, and, and see, and that's that's and why. So you feel like girls who are at that level shouldn't stoop high then. No, you can no. shoot, shoot always, for the start. Always shoot high. Shoot okay. for the start. Always. <laughs> you actually, the crazy thing is some of these ugly girls can actually land some crazy good looking guys. Yeah. That's yeah, easily. Baseball. No, for real. Yeah. Which, it's true. But what, what I'm saying is, what, what I was trying to say is that basically people won't admit that they're ugly. Like, let's say if if I'm with someone that is below that line, right? And, yeah. they, and they're just, I, I will I will love them and I will like them. But we will both know that it's not because of your look. Yeah. But I feel like that's and that's okay. That's standard like, that's, though. I, but I also feel like you would never go for someone that you aren't somewhat attracted to. Yeah. So that's never gonna happen. Gonna s- either sit your way. girl down and be like, listen, that's I never love gonna you. happen either way. Yeah, like it's, no, it's but a this, crazy situation where you are dating somebody that you think is ugly. But I also not think is ugly, think, but you just have no physical attraction. I get then what you're trying work. to say though, because there are people that you could be like, mm, I would never feel him, but then you get to know them and you're like, whoa, maybe. Like, why are they, you know why what? Are they attractive to me now? I, Has I, that happened to you? I will, I will backtrack that a little bit because Actually, there are some instances where you know you feel like you. Damn, this is what true love is, bro. Okay, yeah. say it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> see, we can't. Re- I don't know. I was gonna see for myself. I can't relate, but I don't know. Steven. No, no. Can't wait. Can't relate to what? Like true love? Yeah. Like no, but I'm, I'm, no. Yeah. Love well, I I was gonna say like true love is like yeah, having that type of emotion where you you do think they're ugly, okay, but but you you love them and you are attracted to them because of them, like their personality. Yeah, that's, that's so, a, that can that's so like happen for sure. 360 back to what I but said. But I feel like... Oh, is it? I don't know. What did well, you Well, they're say? not perfect, but like their flaws are kind of just masked over. Yeah, that's you what we notice. said. No, 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 no. But their flaws are there. Like, you know their flaws. Okay, but, but you still love it either way. Yeah. For them. Sure. That's what we've been saying, though. Yeah, oh, okay. it's kind of, kind that of was the argument. Like, but I get you what you're trying to say. I, 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 <laughs> I get what you're trying to say, though. There's some people that are like, <laughs> it's nah. a second like I don't. <laughs> Why? I don't, like, I don't think I would ever, ever go there. I don't. They're think just I'll, not that. I'm not attracted to them. I will never be. I, I don't think a lot of people would, but I feel like that attraction eventually comes. I don't know. I, it I, depends. Well, it could. No, I mean, you could also. How do I say this? Like, there's people that you're not like immediately attracted to them like they're just about average but eventually and then, and then eventually, once you get to know them yeah. you're like yo this person is so funny yeah and I'm this like, person is it they're actually like, right now please yeah okay i'm, I'm not gonna, i wasn't gonna say that but i'm gonna say like they're actually cuter than i thought they were yeah because but that's because i got to yeah because i'm like no, this, this person's funny oh okay. that's what gets me if you're funny then like you immediately no, 100%. shoot up like five Humor points and like banter that has to be banter like, yeah what's banter banter is like, g- give like they just have talk shit no like Back and forth. Like back and forth. Yeah. Like con- not con- I don't get what's it. Wait, the- what? You don't oh, watch Love action. Island enough to know. Ooh. But what's banter? Banter is like it's like a give and take. Like you've never heard that word. Flirt. Oh, oh okay. Vibe. So playful kind of. Sure. I, I I get what you mean. Yeah, playful, sure. friendly exchange of teasing remarks. That's yes. the, yeah. Like the exact definition. Yeah, really? but you have to do it in the right way. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's important for keeping relationships alive as well. Yeah, if you if you if you don't do that, then it gets so boring so quick. Do you feel like the spark dies down sometimes? Yeah, no matter what. Yeah, it's it's. Mm-hmm. But there's like a rush to like meeting somebody or getting into like the talking stage or like a new yeah. relationship. There's like a rush that comes with it, mm-hmm. and then it's just how fast that rush dies down. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like sad after. It's uh, it's like the thing that I don't know if you guys have seen this thing on TikTok where it's like boyfriend air or girlfriend air. Oh yeah. Mm. Where you just like Hales, like you don't care. You just don't care. And you don't take care you're of yourself. You're farting in front of them. Is this what's happening to me? Probably. I think so. Is this why I don't yeah, care? Yeah, that's that's actually what that's truly the one of the big reasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> girlfriend like, air. It's actually girlfriend air. Damn. It's there was a <laughs> But I never cared though. That's not no, true. There was no. a year where you literally only dressed in dress shirts and yes. like dress pants. Yes. I I will still do that though. 
Like you the, don't. Uh, oh. I would no, but I'm saying guys. I would. The Bashoy thing, was wearing sweatpants before this. Yes, we literally we? had to bully him into putting on. No, but I'm saying I think you changed the shirt too. No, I didn't. No, no, oh, he that's didn't. The same but shirt. I'm I'm saying that Do I you wear that shirt out. Yeah, wow. I think it's fine. What's wrong with the shirt? <laughs> Steven's what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what is this? Is a style icon now. <laughs> that so was so uncalled for. <laughs> he's a style. This icon. is a normal shirt. <laughs> this is it's just. <laughs> It's literally just a, a, a plain <laughs> shirt. Okay? I actually, I have the same shirt. It's a plain You're shirt. You're talking shit. But I have, I have, a style <laughs> icon now. You can't reach his level. Yo, you wear this shirt outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have the same shirt. I just don't wear it out. <laughs> okay, that's on you. <laughs> no, dude. You know what's crazy? My, uh, I was getting ready to come onto the podcast. Mm-hmm. And my mom saw me like leaving. And she was like, where are you going? I was like, oh, I'm going to record. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I thought you were going on a date. Yeah. <gasps> and I was like Guys I need to tell you About the story About my dad recently I came into the house Randomly Like this was after work I'm like saying hi to him Whatever And like I had been going out Like a couple days Like like in a row Whatever He comes up to me And he's just like Shak like madraya recently Like you look different I'm like What? He's just like You're also kind of distant Like we don't see you Are you seeing somebody? I'm like Ooh. What's wrong with you? He's no, like It wouldn't be sense. It's like It wouldn't be something bad I'm like What gave you that impression? Like, I, like it makes sense you like it imagine you're a parent okay your daughter is away for like four or five days in a row or whatever how many yeah and then yeah like i, may, I don't know if you're acting weird but maybe i he, wasn't acting weird i was acting completely <laughs> yeah, normal yeah, like may, what gave maybe that? maybe it started from that narrative that like oh she's not home a lot so maybe he started looking at it as like oh is she acting weird and then he kind of got into his own head like oh, it's have, not have too far had that? bro i was like so confused like yeah. what the f is wrong That's not with i mean my mom was like oh i thought you were going on a date and mm-hmm. i was like yeah, i'm just going to record and she was like I wish. I bro, wish you literally, got. I like. I was like, bro. I wish. I would. I would have told you already. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you. You would. You would know. You Trust would me, know. You would be. A- <laughs> bro, I'd be hyped. Yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> like the entire house would know. I'm going yeah. on this one date. <laughs> um, and then I was like, no. Nah. And she was like, wow. Yeah, you wasted a good outfit. That's true. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna rewear this tomorrow. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I have other. You one. have a date tomorrow? <laughs> no. I, I wish. No. No, but I was like, I was like, and my mom didn't believe me. Mm-hmm. I was like, no. And she was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, I'm just going out. And she didn't believe me. Yeah. My mom thinks I have game for some reason. I don't. Sorry, mom. Bro, our parents she, have really high, like, standards. Hopes and yeah. Yeah. Like, just put them down. I think, like, my mom got to the phase where, like, my brother just recently got married. And now yeah. she's just trying to, like, get me out the door as well. Mm-hmm. Like, she's just trying to live her life. Yeah. And I'm just, like, weighing her down. How old is your brother? He's 28. Okay, so bear time. Ish. I have beard time? Yeah. I'm going to get married at 28? Like five years. That's so tough. I don't want to get married that late. Really? Yeah, I'm hoping like... In the next two years? You're That's not what I said at all. Oh. <laughs> By 20- either two or five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are the only yeah. options. No, but you think 28 is late? Like, it's not late, but I feel like I'm at a stage where like I'm... Like my brother, I'm... Okay. Right? Like at, at my brother's age? Yeah. Like I am way ahead of my brother. <laughs> Oh, okay. Like, like my brother, my brother at twenty three was not where I was at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good for you. Like not a flex, but, but like no. But I get it. I get. We're it. different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're on different like sets. Wow. But so you feel like twenty eight is late? I feel like that's so young for guys. No. It's not what? young. It's no, about average. Twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, it's about average. Yeah, I think that's right on time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I'm like I'm like to be honest like I. I so what's I mean, your ideal? Twenty six. We'll give it like. <gasps> three years from now. That's yeah. actually okay, maybe five, 27, not 28. <laughs> no, I Yo. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, I don't know about that. That's what I'm you? aiming for, 26. 26. Nah, maybe, you'll get there, bro. maybe even I'm 25. waiting for a wedding. Bro, it's not even like it's not. I'm waiting for a wedding. Hurry up. He's saving up. I know. That's why he's saving up. That's why he's saving up. That's the one thing I'm waiting for. No, bro. I know. That's why he can't I'm, go to the drink bro, concert. Bro, Man. I'm waiting for that wedding. Are we going to record on your wedding? I think we should like we should have like a special podcast. Oh my God. You know what you should do? Have that like phone thing. Where you thing? record a little message, so it's kind of similar. Oh, like for I'm your confused. wife? No, like for like have your guests record messages. Oh, so that'd you can be cool. Listen. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? I'm I'm so confused. They have like a phone, like in the reception, that mm-hmm. you can record like, uh, like voice message. Oh, like a telephone. Oh, it's like okay. a set of cards. Yeah, yeah. or you could do cards and the cute. message. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Just the thought. That's actually a pretty cool idea. Maybe you could do like a an episode with Noor. Like live. Oh, live. live. Yeah. <laughs> at the wedding. At, at the, the wedding. wedding. Right before the reception. <laughs> Guys, oh my God. I imagine this going like yeah. for years. This? Yeah. yeah. Who knows? No. Who knows I so believe it. That'll you, be you guys have made it pretty far. 
That'll be crazy to see how far this goes. If yeah. this makes it until my wedding, <laughs> I will till be... 27. Yeah, till no, 20. I think any of our weddings. I feel like that, that will be an yo, yo. That's true. Yeah. I mean, you're the first. Like, nobody, yeah, you're the I'd first. Everyone we, knows, though. We still got a while, bro. Nobody yeah. has a shot. Nobody has a shot <laughs> yet. We still got a while. Nobody. No, no, you guys never know, bro. I feel Do like we know it's... anybody in our immediate group that's getting... We we know of people. I know yeah. of people. I mean, like there's. I mean, I don't want to drop names, but yeah, there's, a, yeah, there's an engagement. Yeah, recently. there's a, there's a bunch, and yeah, yeah. That, good for them. Like you know, I think it is all bad like season. Like it's it like, is all bad like season, like and I season. hate it. Can it's, it stop? It's true. It's, it's tough. enough. It's tough. Like p- people, and I hate it when, especially like people younger than me. Ooh. No. Why? Do your parents? Do your parents do that to you? They're like, oh, look, were this, they kind of pressure? No, you not really. My parents never have never. I just feel like I'm like time is ticking. Mm-hmm. When in reality, when, I'm so young. When do you think you're gonna get married? I have no idea, guys. Like at this rate, I don't know. You said 28 was early, or was like early for guys. Yeah. When, well, for guys, yeah. Yeah. I think it's different. You're 28. But I also feel like by 28, I don't know if I will be. You don't think you're gonna be married at 28? I bro. That's like five years from now. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a lot of time, to be honest. Yeah, it is a lot. Like, of realistically, time. you're dating for it a is. year or two, and then like an engagement <laughs> for a year, and who am I gonna meet? Like, so I when w- when would you have kids by? Like, do you want to have kids? Let's let's go there. Wow. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, what? Why? Like, what do why, you mean? why? Why? Kids? No, no, for sure. Why for sure? Like, what? What do you mean? I've always wanted kids. Okay, kids are great. Okay. Yeah, I just think they got at an annoying age, though. What age is that? Like seven to zero 13. to eighteen. <laughs> seven to thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Zero to eighteen. That's such an annoying age. And then after that, you're fine. I don't care. Seven to thirteen. Yeah. That is pretty accurate. Yeah, I would say that. I think even yeah. high school. No, no, no. I was annoying in high school for sure. Maybe grade nine, ten. Well, the thing is, in high school, there you could <laughs> keep adding. you could ignore them. You could ignore them in high you school. Can. You can. Not ignore them. Ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> not ignore them, but they're they're, you, they're not as like, high maintenance. Like yeah. you know, what, you see them at home, you check up with them, tell them to do their homework. Like that. That's pretty much it. Neglect like, there's not. Kids. It's not as it's not like elementary school. You have to drop them off at school and pick them yeah. up, and like you know what no, I mean. No, but it's then not, I feel like teenagers are also horrible. Yeah, yeah. sometimes gotta, they could be bratty. It's a different battle for sure. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not saying it's easier. Well, yeah, I'm staying on their case in high school. Really? Yeah. Well, like not on their case, but I just want to make sure they're not doing like some. But I feel like that's stuff. when they want. They're not the doing most. some euphoria level stuff. Euphoria that's, level. But, but I feel like you need your kids need to dabble. Yeah. Sometimes. That, that's when they dabble. need. <laughs> that's when that, they need. I'm never gonna encourage that. No, you won't encourage like it. But I feel like you have to let it happen. Let it happen for them to know. Whether you know it or not, yeah. you just have to kind of just I let agree. them do their thing and hope that it doesn't happen. If it does happen, and you hope, have to... And hope that you realize that that's wrong. I shouldn't do it again, kind of thing. Yeah. Not even that. Like, I, I think you just have to be a continuous support. I yeah. feel like a, you just have to have their back. I think that's the biggest thing. And not be annoying because if you ever try to be co- too controlling... You lost them. It'll backfire. Yeah, I've uh, seen that so many times. Yeah, they'll just they'll they'll do whatever they want to do just behind your back. It's, mm-hmm. it's yeah. So you might as well. No, I'm not saying acknowledge it and let them, but just don't have that conversation. <laughs> like if if you feel like they're they're doing some such shit, then yeah. just tell them you love them. Tell them you love them. Tell them you love them. Despite no, the actually, shit. like just j- just. But I also them. think you have to like, like say something if it's getting too far. Oh, oh, for sure. If it's getting too far and you know yeah. it, hundred percent. Yeah, I think my biggest fear is not knowing, and then it goes too far. You know, you'll know. I, I mean, I feel like it's easy as a parent, especially yeah. with high school kids, because they're too dumb to hide. Did you? And if they are hiding, it's so easy for you to tell. Do you guys ever? I talk to my mom about my high school days all the time, mm-hmm. and I'll be like, "Do you do you remember when I used to do this? Like, did you know what I was actually doing?" And she was like, yeah, I 100% knew really? you were going no, out to my, see this girl. My mom is so naive. Really? My mom? I thought my mom didn't know anything. And no, she was no. like, yeah, I my know every girl you were so talking to really? and like when you went no, and like why. I would talk to my mom about guys all the time. So she knew that. But like uh, other things, like no, for sure not. She, wow. I don't think she would know. She knows. My mom knows a lot of things. My dad definitely. Oh, he's on it? Yeah. Like my dad knows. How do you, like, is, how do you think that, he knows? Is that why, like, is that because... Because my sh- dad was like me when he was younger. Oh, so okay. He, he can tell. Really? I thought it would be, the, like, knowing no, your parents mom, a little. Like, I thought it would be your mom that would always no, way No, my more. mom is so naive. 
Oh. Like my mom believes anything I say. Ooh. Like she's just like she so, really trusts you. She trusts like heavy. Sometimes it's like too bad. much. <laughs> like, <laughs> too no, like she needs to calm down. Like no, if if what I tell her, like oh I'm gonna go out and with this person, like, she'll believe it, even if it's not that person. She'll mm. she'll believe it. My mom does the same, but yeah. then she figures it out somehow. I feel like yeah. as a parent, you have to know that your kids are eventually gonna lie to you once about 100%. if if you ask them about who they're going out with. They're eventually going to lie. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, any parent out there, no matter how angel of a kid you think you have, they're going to lie not. to you one time. No, 100%. I, I feel agree. like that's kind of scary as a parent. Yeah, Especially, for sure. Well, that is it. That is if you ask. Like, I feel like as a parent, I would be the type to not ask. You don't care no, who they're No, but I want to know. Yeah. I, no, I feel like I, I'm going to be the nosy mom. I want to know the deets. I want to know the tea. But then you get annoying. <laughs> I want to know the tea. No, you definitely don't want to know the tea. I feel what? like it's my mom loves the tea. Yeah. My, I, my mom knows everything that's happening in our group. From okay. Start yeah. to finish. I did, love you, that. did you share that with your mom during high school? No, obviously. Th- but that's what I'm saying. I feel like during high school, like right now, sure, the tea is like stupid. Like, or not Why? stupid, I but like the tea could be more intense. It's not there's, stupid. A, there's intense tea yeah. happening. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Tea Guys, happening. I want to know the tea. No, yeah. but I'm saying in high school, things were a lot more like. Like low key, that's why. Not low key. Things were a lot more extreme. What do you mean by extreme? Like, bro, like, for example, like, if if the T is, like, for example, you're going to get into a fight or you might get into a fight. Some guy is talking shit about you and you might have to, like, you know, set their record straight. Mm. I feel like a lot of a lot of people go through that. Yeah. It, whether if it's yeah, a guy yeah, or a girl. Yeah. As a girl, I, 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 a girl's talking shit about you and you have to fucking oh. confront her. No, but to be to honest, I'd always tell my mom about girl drama. About the fights and all the... Oh. Fair. I, I feel like as a guy, I I wouldn't because I wouldn't want to scare my parents about Into any... thinking that there's a, like Any dangers is, or anything. Yeah. Like, you know what I but mean? But I feel like you guys are more aggressive than girls, so... Were you getting into fights in high yeah. school? Yeah. No, I didn't get into any fights. Oh, okay. But there were so many like like yeah, not close calls. But there's so many situations that could have ended into that. If, yeah, no. If mishandled, and if yeah, if, if I sat there and told my mom all the situations I went through every yeah, day, she would have been worried like, for sure. Crazy. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm not I'm not endorsing like oh like don't tell anything to your parents. But at the same time, there's just a lot of stupid shit. And uh, as a parent, you have to know that. Mm-hmm. This shit's stupid. Like, <laughs> no matter yeah. how serious or how like uh, scary it sounds, for kids. Yeah, I agree. Ish. Eventually, sure, something will get serious, and I guess that's the tough part is gauging how serious it actually is. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like there's so many days, there's so many events that happen that if I were to like tell my parents every day what was going on, no, they they, they would have. But you tell them. You think they would have gone more strict over time? Not more strict, but they definitely would have been worried. Worried. like. Mm. But you, you told them now. Or you tell them, like, looking back at it. No? You don't tell them? Like, yeah. I think like, it's I, fun I don't to look know. back yeah, at it. Yeah. Yeah. Them. Yeah. But, like, I mean, there's so many things that happened that, like, I don't even remember. Like, mm-hmm. so many small day-to-days. Especially the small ones is what I'm, like, stressing the most. Yeah. Like, if, get- if this guy talks shit about me and I'm like, bro, I don't feel it. And, like, and he's looking at me some kind of way or whatever. That happened to me so many times in high school. Yeah. And, like, yeah, if I were to talk to my mom every day about that and she would just be shaking every day, like, was this guy going to get into a fight or what? Like, mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, we had different high school experiences. Yeah. We did. We did. Not, but, not no, but we would, we would, ha- like, fight over the stupidest things, I yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah. Did you, where did you? I see. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. All yeah. four? No, no. Oh, just no, it's the... gone Zega before. No way. I think I told you this. No, you did it. Yes. Yeah, I think she I did. did. She did. When did you tell me this? I swear I've told you. You're this. acting as if you were there. I, th- I think it was like a, a, the birthday thing, no? What birthday? Was my, it? My birthday outing. The birthday barbecue? Yeah. I barbecue. don't remember that a, at all. A Gupi? No, Gupi? Uh, Dicey's. Dicey's. Yeah. We did? Oh, yeah. I remember. That was like a late. Oh, my. I don't remember half of that convo. Damn. Wow. How do you feel? No, I was just no, tired. No, so <laughs> I was like, wow. Do you remember? <laughs> I, I don't even remember either. Yeah, okay. So oh. it's not but, that bad. Oh, okay. I, I think we were just... Ar- no, it's like some dumb argument between Sarah and Kareem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the entire conversation. Oh, bro. Some like huge argument. Nah, Those always I still happen. disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand people who have like stupid like standards. Like, I don't what agree do you mean, with stupid that. Stupid standards? Like... Kareem over- has high standards? No, like stupid... Like... The In way terms that of what? people think of like h- girls and like how they act, like define like certain things. I I don't agree with that. This is the vaguest fucking statement. Whatever, I've heard about it like. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that fight was stupid. But anyways, okay. guys, my next question was: 
Gay son or thought daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Do we actually had? Did we talk about this? Did like, we talk about this? No, we talked about this at like episode no. one or two or something. Did like, we? Way back in the day, <laughs> I, I mentioned it. We were talking about kids. So I was like, okay, I want to know. That's a crazy question. It's a I hard also one. feel it's a hard like one. guys, like, what do you mean, like, by thought? Like, this girl's like sleeping that is, that, that that's a true it's a great question. Like, yeah, also people like subjective. consider so yeah, like some people think like dressing a certain way is hoey. Like, only yeah. daughter's a hoe. She people like people that. draw the line at different yeah, phases. I'm, there's dress code. There's really, gotta, gotta be a dress code. That's crazy. <laughs> no, really? I, I, no, I'm joking. But I feel like no, at a certain age, there's dress codes. Oh, for sure. Like I'm, like I'm not getting my like elementary school daughter to dress in some like weird crop mm-hmm. top or whatever. Like that's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I <laughs> <totally> <laughs> what? Look, you're thinking about it. Why? What? <laughs> Why were you thinking it. of it? No, like, I, no, no. There's, there's this. Uh, I remember Noor sent you a Snapchat once, <laughs> or sent you a picture. Do you remember this story? No. <laughs> Noor sent you a picture and she was in a crop top and you were angry about it for like a week. What? Because she Michoy was. seems like the type. She, Wait, what? She said she, I, I don't even know where she was. She was on vacation somewhere, Florida or whatever. I don't remember this. And she sent you a picture of her wearing a crop top and you were like, "Yo, there's no way she could wear that. How is she wearing this?" Oh, I was just, I was just, ma- I was just questioning the fact that this could happen in Egypt. Oh, she, yeah, she was in Egypt. Okay. I assume I don't know. I don't remember, but I assume like I. I but I, you were more upset that she was wearing a crop top. Which I think it's. I so don't funny. know. I I wouldn't. I wouldn't are react you, like are, that now. Are you like that though? Like this in is terms years of like ago. how like your right, girl can right, dress now, no. okay. right now, no. Right now, no. I don't know. This I was like five years ago or something. I have no clue. That's I, I don't, so funny. I don't know. That's hilarious. That, you don't remember that's this? Weird to me. No, I don't remember. You were that. actually you were genuinely upset, and I think you were like considering messaging her, telling her, "Yo, like you can't wear this." What? That's crazy. <laughs> and then I was what? like, "Yo, let her we're wear." We're actually it. airing out. Michelle. Yeah, actually, this is dirty laundry. <laughs> I don't even remember this. I feel like I have a video. <laughs> a video? What, what I, the fuck? Yo, yo. I don't Snapchat, like, for your eyes only, like, archives go crazy for some really? reason. Really? Guys, I have nothing in my fr- my eyes only. I don't remember any of this at all. I, I, I don't think I'm like that, at least right now. I don't, I don't, I don't like know that. if I... I was yeah, just I joking. But. I don't know if I was before. Maybe I, I remember. But this to be combo. honest, Egypt is like a scary place to wear things. Yeah, I would never like, like for be, sure. If I were risky. to hear that now, I would say like, how is she wearing that there? That, yeah, that makes like, more sense to me. Guys, I'm going to Egypt for a bit, and mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Just uh, like casual. It's straight bodysuit flex. Yeah, that's true. And like, I mean, it depends stuff. on where you go. Depends on where you go. Yeah, it, that's very dependent. Yeah. yeah, the richer areas, the more. Um, I'm gonna find it somewhere. The more relaxed they are with things. Yeah, we will see. But yeah, you can't be pulling up like in crop tops. I feel like in Egypt, <laughs> yeah. bro. I'd yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't think I, I'm a big like dress code guy. I, I, what I believe in the most, especially like for like my daughters per se, would be like, yo, if you, I feel like it's how you do things, like how you raise them, plays a very big factor. Okay. Like, they will know the line b- without you telling them. Between, like, what's appropriate and yeah. what's not? Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's... But I also feel like there is, like, a time where, like... Where they try and push the boundaries? Yeah, they push the boundaries and see if that's okay. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think I've... And I feel like every girl's gone through that. Yeah. I, I think as a guy, I've done that in, like, other aspects, like, not clothing. but Yeah. Like in, oh, I've done that in, like, curfew. Yeah, yeah. I trying push to push curfew. Around. And I think... To the Well, edge. I mean, curfew, I think, is, is so... Would you shit. let your, like, daughter and son have the same curfew or no? No shot. Really? Oh, is this the, the whole... Uh, yeah, yeah. My son has curfew, like... So your sons would be later than your daughters, yeah. for sure. My 11 That's p.m. That's so unfair. Okay. I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I get it. It's like for safety it's, reasons. But at the same time. Unless they're together. And then my son has the same curfew. <laughs> they're both coming in early. But that's so annoying. I feel uh, like. What would you do? I think like. I get what you're saying. But I also feel like the s- same bad things can happen to your son. No. Okay. Let let's 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 l- dive deep. Yeah. Dude, my my thinking is all pretty much all the parents are gonna have early curfews for their daughters. 
So if I, I'm like, yeah, it's my daughter. It's just because of society. I feel. Though. I don't think. I, I don't think as a, as a parent you're worried about the the your your, do- your daughter, your daughter as, yeah. as much as you are worried about the world on your daughter. Yeah. So, wh- my my question was gonna be, if who would you worry less about? Okay, your son drunk at a bar at 4 a.m. or your daughter drunk at a bar at 4 a.m. But like, what if she can handle herself though? Hmm. Like I agree, I agree. There are there, there are, are a lot, there like are a lot of girls that she could handle herself way better than maybe than my son could. But who would you worry about less? Inevitably, bottom line. Like my son. Yeah, and, and, and it's I, true, I'm not I saying, get it. and I'm not saying I'm again. I'm not like I don't know. I'm 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 not justifying everything that comes along with it. But I'm I'm just saying like realistically, at the yeah. root of it all. That's how all parents are acting. Yeah. Is because they're not they're not worried about their daughter doing shit late at night. They're more worried about that shit that could happen to them yeah. late at night. Yeah, that's true. No, but I also realized growing up, like I hated the whole curfew thing, but I understood where my parents were coming from after a while. Yeah. Like yeah. it's actually not safe out like it's out not, here in these it's streets. Not. And I don't know, like it's yeah, the world's a fucked up place where like you never know what could happen. You yeah, could literally like be dressed so like not even like inappropriate, like modest, yeah, and yeah. like people like doesn't will matter. Still like hit on you, like what? I was just taking a walk around my neighborhood, and I, I think it was like ten thirty, eleven. Yeah. I was just listening to music, and my mom was calling me. She's like, "Where are you? How are you not home?" And I was like, "It's like eleven, and I'm walking around." And she was like, "No, get you back. have to be home. You have to be home. What's what if you get? S- you? I don't have a curfew. Okay. Yeah, yeah, my mom was just like, I mean, like I've we've gone to like we've been out until like three or four before." Yeah. And like my mom does it. Yeah. She used to be one of those people. We went like, out at four <laughs> before. Yeah, there, there's times yeah. where we literally go out at four. But my mom used to be one of those people where it's like, oh, I can't sleep if I know you're not home. Oh, and then, well, like, my parents would pull that all the time and then I come home and they're cage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they start after, off like, like that. After yeah, like a few what? days, my mom's like, yeah, I'm hitting the bed. And I just come yeah. home whenever. Yeah. That's what I mean by pushing my curfew. I think, I've we're, done I think we'll all do that too as parents. I think at first we'll we'll <laughs> all do the same thing. We'll, we will be worried and we'll be we sound asleep. Sleep. Yeah. And then later, yeah, we'll we'll get used to it. I think it's it's a it's an adjustment for both you and your parents. Yeah. So like they get used to it after yeah. a while. Yeah. You guys know what is it? Life three sixty five? You have Life Three Sixty Five? No. The app, the the one where you like track you your phone location. Is? Life three sixty five. It's like it's an app everybody uh, in your family or whoever group downloads it. Okay. And you could see the person's location at all times. So why don't you just find my it's or the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Okay. yeah, it's like fine my, but some people do. My my parents don't have iPhones. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. It would be like day sixty five. Oh, okay. It's the same. No, thing. I don't care. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't care if like my parents have my location at all. I never even like when they've never even asked me. I'm the one that gave it to them. Like your location. Yeah, I was like the one. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want that as Why? a. Parent. Like, would you do it as a parent? No. I, like obviously, I would. I would love to like have that, but at the same time, I feel like. You want to give them like privacy? Like me, me, yeah, me as a me as a kid, I know I I wouldn't want to share that, and not not because I'm hiding anything, but it's just like it's like private, like I don't know, I like get it. do you not trust me? And it's, it's not it's not just trust, but it's not even know. trust. It's just like I don't they know. They just want to check in and make sure, but at the same time, I don't know. It, it's not good. I it, I don't think it's good. Did your parents? Really? Healthy. I don't think it's healthy. My parents never did the Life Three Sixty Five, but did your parents ever go through your bag? Or like through your oh, messages, my parents no, did that messages. all the time. My no. bank, because my card was linked to my dad's before, and he'd be like, "You're spending so much money." Da-da-da. Oh, okay, that's I'm not like, even that bad. That's no, just, bro, <laughs> yeah. no, no. My my bank account was linked when she would. Uh, I would make sure, like, I'd take out cash. <laughs> really? <laughs> but like, you could also see that I took out cash. Yeah, But yeah, if you yeah, do yeah. it regularly enough, then it's like, oh, it's just standard yeah. or whatever. No, my parents never checked my messages though. My parents did that all the time. I would really? have to, there was a period where I just wouldn't like I would just leave my computer up or whatever and they would go in and check <gasps> my messages. No, nah, no. Nah, I'd and actually like, cause beef over that. I do, I mean like what am I gonna do? I have no power. No, I'd actually <laughs> but they be, did like that. what the, what do you mean? Like if there was something going on, I'd tell you. And they also go through my bag. I remember I used to hide like uh, bad grades in my bag. Oh and then God. my mom would that's pull it up. That's why. <laughs> my mom, what do you mean? That's why. It's no, bad. I don't. I don't know. I I don't like that at all. I don't like and that. That's either, why. And that's yeah. why I don't like the location thing either. I think as 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 humans, naturally, we all have things to hide. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Why are you getting so like? Give your actual opinion. Yeah, bro. that's my why actual opinion. You don't have things to hide. <laughs> <So> every <laughs> every time Michelle <laughs> says something, it gets so philosophical at the start. He's like, guys, we're all not perfect, but this is what true love is. <laughs> no, but we we do all have something <laughs> and to hide. It comes back whether, yeah, it to comes, the same topic. Comes back full circle. Whether whether it's good or bad, we all have something to hide. Yeah, like, just like yeah. Speak. No I one get is, it. No I get one, it. No one is full transparent. Okay. Yeah. And I like I me as a as a kid. I would never share that information with my parents. I, I would never have the, them have my my location or go through my messages or my bag or my room. But I, I get really pissed off when they try and go through my room. But I feel like as you grow up, you understand why. Like, I the, the whole checking your room and checking your bag and your messages, that's excessive. The location thing, like... I don't know. The location, sure, is the one I would understand the most, and it yeah. it, dep- it depends on the parents. So but I, you'll have I, some parents that check it every single day, and they will literally message no, you. No, no, my hey, mom. My you parents told me you were gonna go there. Why aren't you yeah. there right now? Yeah, no, that would be really annoying. But there are other parents who are very reasonable with it, and you know they'll check it when yeah. you, when you said you're gonna be home 20 minutes ago, and they're just worried about you, and your phone's not like you're not answering your phone or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those I completely understand, mm-hmm. but I just don't want like me personally. I wouldn't want to let that door open yeah. or keep that door open because I, I know myself i know i me as a parent i would want to be the parent that doesn't check at all and only checks in emergencies but i also know that if i ever have a question or if i if i'm ever doubting my son or my daughter that i will check the location and i don't want like you don't want to not have to trust them yes the thing and have yes. that sort of broken like trust yeah in, in and i i don't want that I to be an it. option i don't want that to be an option because it, I, if it is an option one day i will use it and, and you're gonna be di- you don't want to be disappointed that's the underlying thing sorry you don't it's, not, be- it's not even just disappointed even if i if i do end up being disappointed i'm gonna lose their trust and and that's me invading their privacy and they're yeah. they're rightful to revoke that from me yeah 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 i get it and it's just like um, a, yeah I, I can't wait for you to have a child. Oh, oh my Why? God. Why? I am. I just want you to know, like, the minute you have a kid, I am, like, this entire, like, past, like, 30 minutes, yeah. I'm blasting. Sure. Because I know you're not going to... I mean, like, you say... No, no, no I, th- I don't think he would. What? I don't think he would. I don't think Bishoy would be strict. I actually... Super I have strict. a feeling... I have a feeling you would be one of the more strict people. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I have a feeling Bishoy would be super... Not I super strict. I think Bishoy would be, like, chill up until, like shit gets yeah. serious and then he'll like but snap. then he snaps and then he won't snap back like that'll be it for the really? entire family no. like no. It, everybody it's like military training if something oh happens my God. everybody's getting a bus cut and like everybody's <laughs> in, even the girl <laughs> yeah you're Every, getting a bus we're getting buzzed and like they're just like alif like everybody's no. moving at a straight line i don't, I don't know I, I don't think so i think like for sure yeah i'll have my moments where i snap but i for me the one thing and you. I, I, I was thinking about this earlier. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. I mean, no, finish. I, I have something. Com- you were like reflecting? Off. Wow. Yeah. No, I, I was just thinking of, of something that we said, I think, yeah, I think 20 episodes ago or some shit like that, <laughs> where I want my I want my kids to be the type of kids that genuinely love their family and genuinely prioritize their family over their friends. Yeah. By choice. Like, you ever see those... It, it, you ever see those kids who tell you like oh no sorry i can't hang out I, you know we're actually I'm, i i have to go out with my family we're gonna go to this place yeah. or they tell you oh we're going out with my cousins and it's we're going to a cottage together. it's gonna be a fun time mm. like there are those families that that but I also are so good with so that. rare yeah. but is. i also it feel is. like no but i i feel like like i'm we're that type of people sometimes where we do prioritize yeah family. yeah yeah it's right. like oh i can't go out i have like our uh, zuma like, with yeah but but not because you have to no like, but it's all i have to i want to yeah, yeah but i feel like you realize that going up though like you want to spend more time with your family some people some people genuinely enjoy that as kids like they yeah they could yeah but i felt like i was never li- like i don't know i was never like that until like got older yeah i was never like that until recently. yeah like i just always wanted to be with my friends mm-hmm. it's true i don't know i think you just realize you take your family for granted and you're like whoa like they're not getting any younger yeah like yeah. you want to spend so much time with them yeah well everybody i'm living alone for like the next two months it's tough mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, why my parents are in sask oh and my brother got married so I'm, it's so sad <gasps> oh my god yeah some people do that like for life or not for life but p- some people like by by our age now they would move out and like you know yeah because let's say if they work somewhere far or yeah, yeah. Sure that's so sad like i'm i'm no, like dreading the next like couple months yeah. yeah i'm like what am i gonna do 
I'm at home alone the entire time. That's so boring. Mm -hmm. Can like, you cook? Like kind of. Okay, good. Yeah, but, but to be honest, that's not happening. Like, yeah, I'm eating like frozen food for the next month. And so on the I do on the occasion, well, I'll cook. For like, myself. take this time to learn. I feel yeah. to learn how to cook. Yeah. Bro, I'll come over and we'll cook together. Bro. Please don't. Yeah, but Shoy's Why? been yeah, like... Yeah, Shoy's on the cooking grind. On his, <laughs> I think like, this is like the third episode story. in a row you like, mentioned this. Really? Yeah. No, you've it's been all on your chefing it up. Yeah. <laughs> bro, you just, I just made some salmon bites upstairs. <gasps> yeah. Bro, you know what I I was thinking? I want to do like a dinner party. Just yeah. but like It's just going to be like trash food that I cook because <laughs> I don't know how to cook. But we could do a potluck style. Yeah, let's like, yeah. say potluck. We could do potluck as well. Have your friends over like every week yeah. and like do a cute potluck. That's not happening. Why? Why? I don't think our friends are going to go out every week. Oh, uh, did you know? Wait, every week? Yeah, yeah. yeah, every week. Is but Shoy doesn't even want to go out like... <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> th see, this is so a motive that's zero dollars. So, I'm there. So oh, you only see... There. I feel like you only see Bishoy whenever you record. That's the reason I we I decided to do this podcast is because this is the one hour a week I actually get to talk to Bishoy. Bishoy. Yeah. I, what I, we have like legitimate heartfelt conversations on this podcast because I don't talk to Bishoy <laughs> for like weeks. Bishoy. Did you listen last week's episode? Did you listen? No. I, uh, okay. It yeah, pretty, we were, it's a therapy we're session. Our we're just guys, our you know, out. you know that I always watch when you have a guest, though. Really? Oh yeah. Always watch when you have a guest. Why don't you watch when we just us do what the hell? I feel like, <laughs> no, because at the beginning I used to watch you guys a lot, but I feel like I got used to your dynamic, oh, like okay. both of you. So, so you just I want like some new. It's so yeah. interesting. Yeah, like yeah. I want to see like yeah. the the person that adds to the dynamic. You okay. Know? Okay. So fair. I always watch when there's a guest. But yeah, last week we were just like pouring our hearts out in a conversation oh. and i think the week before that we didn't have we didn't record so it's been yeah. two weeks yeah. and we yeah, were just yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah that was, that was we were just going but through low key, it. this is the best therapy session like yeah ever. that's actually what like we, i'm actually gonna leave this and be like thanks for the free therapy you could, yeah <laughs> no for real you could talk about yeah you going through something <laughs> you want to talk about <laughs> it like, yeah. yeah i'm not going through anything how is actually. how is me how are, how are sarah doing really guys I'm actually I was, good. I feel like my life is stagnant right now. I don't know. Bro, that's literally what I said last, like, word for word. I like, said I that just last week. Like like stagnant in a good way or in a bad way? Like, it's like, I wouldn't say bad. Okay. Like, I don't feel like I'm in a rut. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like there's nothing, like, exciting yeah. for me to look forward to in, like, my day-to-day. Dude, same. I, I, I would you like, know? I, I would is this agree. not what I said last yeah, week? Like, yeah. word for word? I literally said that. I don't know. That. And I'm trying to, like, not... Because I feel like when you have that outlook on life, you're just, like, gonna dread the day. Yeah. So I'm always, like, tr I try to, like, pump myself up in the morning and be like, today's gonna be such a good day. You're gonna, oh, like, daily have affirmations? I don't even know. Yeah. Like, say your affirmations. Bro, like, somebody told me about an app that, like, gives them, gives like, daily Gives you affirmations? Yeah, yeah, Guys, so I many. started journaling. That's how, like self-reflecting i was that's how that's how tough life has been i've yeah. journaling too like but it's helped a lot mm -hmm. it kind of does i feel like that's a new level of maturity because i used to think that shit was so stupid oh like, i still what? think it's really yeah but i still do it <laughs> i like you think it's i, I get where you're like, coming from though because it's like why the fuck do i have to write it down yeah i feel like am i that's that much weird. of a loser like i'm writing my feelings yeah. down like who am i but i feel like it's a way to like get your thoughts out yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I'm the type of person that gets so overwhelmed in my head that I feel like when I write it down it's like it's, I'm it's, it's a thing. Nice. It's a it's an actual scientific thing. They tell you when yeah. you when you're worried about something, always write it down on a piece of paper. Yeah. Because like you psychologically feel like you dumped that yeah. weight on the paper. No, and it's for sure, bro. There's one time I journaled. I've never had this before. Like I actually cried. Really? That's cr like that was crazy to me wow. cuz I'm not like super super emotional like i like it's very rare for like me to cry in public like my friends always tell me i've never seen you cry like i'm not like an emotional person like ever so i was like bro like it's just a new discovery honestly that's impressive yeah, yeah. i've never got in there i've been like emotional journaling yeah but i've never yeah. been like i'm gonna cry I, after this yeah no mm -hmm. like i cried like mid writing like that yeah, was crazy wow. Was it was it like or were you, you going about through it, something yeah. and 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 like, like yeah I was going through it? something internally mm -hmm. yeah like mm -hmm. it's like mental battle and like I was just writing it down I was like oh my god like yeah. I'm, and the thing is I feel like for me I always like like make myself feel like it's not as serious as it is but when I like started writing it down I was like bro like no this is actually like yeah. serious so mm -hmm. I was like oh my god it's okay to like be emotional about it you know yeah it's true it's true to be honest um. I like realized this, but I developed a shopping addiction to like to like, <laughs> to, like compensate? to like compensate for this like stagnant. I'm like, oh, Real this is this is what I'm looking forward to. I get to go shopping in like a week. Yeah, no, I'm I like, get that. You form new like 
habits yeah to overcompensate for something else to do i'm i like go on walks now that's I'm good like, your hot I, girl I, walk huh your hot girl walk yeah <laughs> i get headphones in i want to get the the airpod max now just so i could get like the full yeah, thing but it's 800 bro i can't i can't walk with like full headphones on or really? like I, i'll Why? have headphones but i won't blast it I just, oh those are the best when i walk geo best believe do you not feel like you're about like to get killed <laughs> no what do you, why, why do you want to like, hear your surroundings yeah you're looking over your shoulder like, who's gonna kill there's me? so many things could go wrong someone could rob you someone could jump you someone where are you but walking how to? Ra- yeah. where are you, you walking are you Fitch? <laughs> <laughs> there, could get be, a stroll? there could be a car about to run you over on the sidewalk you, you never know yeah that's true crazy. that's crazy but i feel like that's just, not happening you always look around you you know yeah, but still, I, you, also, you like, like to hear your surroundings. Them. Like not hear them, but at least like be able to. If I if anything ha- like if True. if you if can I, still I, see by the way, like, yeah, if I you're know. Blasting, you well, can still see around you. Well, you can only see in front of you. You can't see behind you. Yeah, I'm. I'm also like you know sweeping. Every time you're, you're no, but I'm, I'm just. Like, I'm not like to be honest. I'm not looking over my shoulder. Someone's gonna rob me. I feel like that's yeah, never but, gonna but happen. There, there could be a car that, that just like swerves and scoops you on the way. Okay, if that happens, but like ha- yeah, that was my time. What are the odds? Like, like it's that was be, my time. It's God, meant to be. God wanted me to yeah. go there. I don't know. I don't like know. if you could hear that, you think you'd be able to run? <laughs> well, maybe it's been like swerving for a while. What? Sure. And <laughs> like, you're trying to hear yeah. it drift. Uh, you, but then what? Yeah. This is a crazy scenario <laughs> that you can't defend Michelin. yourself. No, no. Mm. You've been tweaking oh, I don't this know, episode. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's so many possibilities. Like it's uh, so you. If but you're I, walking, you don't listen to music. No, I do. I just, I just don't blast, blast it, it all the way up. Okay, I, I make sure I could hear my surroundings a little bit. Like if, yeah, it, sure, so that if a sure. car is honking, I can hear it. Sure, sure. But I. That's the whole point. Like yeah. it's to blast and just be in the mood. Enjoy, it. bro. Yeah, there's a park right out. beside my house. I yeah. start. I go on the swings by myself. Really? I'm like main character. I'm main like, character, honestly. I'm doing it myself. I'm like blasting music, swinging. I get what, sick after. Would a you bit. ever go to like a restaurant, like and eat by yourself? I feel like that's a goal of mine. That's like because I would never. Yeah, like I my would never. anxiety would never. But I feel like that's like a self love journey. Like I would really? want to. Like, I feel like be that's a goal. Like a, I feel like that's a loser uh, thing. Really? That's why I'm saying I don't want to go but, to this Drake concert alone because it's the same vibe. Like I'm just showing up by myself and I'm just like. But you can make friends. Why not? I don't know. I get where you're coming from, though. Like, uh, I mean, I like, same thing with the restaurant. Who are you going to make friends with? The waiter? No, but <laughs> whatever. Just like, it also depends stuff. on, like, where. Like, I've d- I do that thing where I'll buy a pizza for myself and just eat. Sit and eat by yourself? Yeah. Yeah. No, but, like, an actual restaurant. An actual don't. restaurant. Like, if, like I'm dressed up nice, just showing up by myself. Table of one, please. Yeah. That's, like, so sad to say. <laughs> yeah. But why not? You're Bro, just like, I mean, like, all you can content. eat is the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to yeah, all you can eat, no, 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 no. I would never go to all you can eat, bro. Bro, I, I can't. I see people at Mandarin going crazy by themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that a lot. Bro, I was actually I thought because Mandarin gives you a free thing on your birthday. You so were so just going. I was like, yo, I was thinking of just going alone and just like it's actually not about tearing idea. it up. But apparently, you have yeah. to bring people with you. So, bro, oh, you person. can't even book a rezo for one. No, no, you can, but you won't you get the free, like the free, free, the free thing. Oh. Yeah. In order to get the free thing on your birthday, you have to bring yeah. uh, like a group of four at least. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. What? Damn, not uh, even just one. Yeah, and it was. I was like, I guess. Like, I'm not I'll, I'll bring one person. We'll split the bill. Either. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I'll pay half there. I didn't know that. I love Mandarin though. Mandarin's it's, too good. It's like the classic. I'm yeah. kind of tired of it because we always go. I haven't yeah. been so long. No, I went recently for my brother's birthday. So good. Jeez. Too Did good. he get the free bread? Nice, nice. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. They, got they got they got the deal. They got the yeah. four plus. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I respect it. Yeah. Yeah. I respect it. Bro, did you guys see that submarine? <gasps> I was talking about this guys. all over my feed. That's There's so like two sad. things on my feed. It's the hot and single show and the what submarine. Hot and single. There's yeah, like a lady nice. like in down like New York and she just interviews random people on the street. And then oh. she's like, uh, why are you she like talks about like the red flags or like why they're it's funny. Why they're single? Yeah. Okay. Like, oh, why do you think you're single? Oh. Then, like, I see the that's actually guy, an interesting question. I see the guy who goes up to people and he's like, oh, what would you rate this person one to ten? Oh, oh yeah. And then he'll and go. And what would you rate yourself? What would you rate yourself? And then he'll go up to other people. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah. That's so, it's so sad when you rate yourself so high and then someone else rates you low. So I don't think anyone rates them high. I think it's always the opposite. People rate themselves really low. Yeah. yeah I would always, always rate myself low because I don't want to someone else rate me low yeah yeah self-defense i don't know is that good or bad like like when you see there's that also 
No, I mean, there's also people that I'd be like, oh, I'm a 10 for sure. Fuck and those then, people. And then it goes up to the next <laughs> person. What? Yo, she's like a two maybe. And I'm what? like, that's No, crazy. you just love yourself. I would never say I'm a 10, but sometimes you do feel like a 10 out of 10. Sometimes There you are days I'm like, I'm a 10 out of 10 today. It's true. Yeah. What are you today? Today? Today's like a seven. <laughs> seven? Yeah. I was going to say, like today's seven. like an eight. Eight for yeah. me. Yeah. Today's like a seven. People in the comments are like five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. What about you? <laughs> uh, Three. <laughs> well, right now I'm giving myself like a four. Like, well, that's generous. It's yeah. girlfriend air. I'm telling well, you. Well, no, I respect the confidence and the four yeah. though. No, respect the thing the is, I you felt like he was gonna do lower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I I just it's not that I don't try. It's just, especially with my my outfits. I don't. I can't dress um, like street style. Mm. Like for me, my way of oh, dressing that's up. Like, my the way, vibe style. Not, yeah, that's the vibe. Yeah, street style is the way. My oh. way of dressing up is putting on dress suits or dress pants and dress shirt, and I love You're that. Just I love at that. the mature wave now. I feel, but but, but that's, that's but that's going thing. back to that's what I was doing in yeah. high school. Like th- that's my you only way of dressing you, up. I don't yeah. know how to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. Like I could dress up like that, but <laughs> like I'm, you never wear cargos, bro. No, that's crazy. My favorite thing is i go into like i go shopping now and the people are always complimenting my my outfits Mm -hmm. and i just uh, my confidence i get so gas i my confidence through the roof especially if the guy working or the girl working or like they have a nice outfit on like i get they have good style their resume is fire yeah like that's how i know (laughs) and then i ask them i'm like yo okay like put me on something at the store and i'll buy it yeah. And like my confidence is like 15 out of 10 uh, the yeah. entire time I'm I walking. always like love it when girls compliment me more than guys because I'm like, oh my God, it's so much more authentic than I feel like if a guy compliments me. Well, I love it. If a, I, well, I yeah, got, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. If because a girl like, compliments me, I'm like, I'm through the roof, bro. Well, yeah, but because the thing is like for her, like she gets compliments from guys, from guys all, all the time. time. I mean, like, guys, or, or why not? do you make it sound okay, like no, no, I'm no, no, like no. pulling left, <laughs> no, right, and okay. center? I literally Yo, just said I don't even game. know what I'm getting married. No, but you <laughs> have game like okay, that. Okay, let me rephrase this. Not because you get it all the time, but because you don't know the intention behind it. Right, you don't yeah, know yeah. if they're actually I just know, trying yeah, to pick you that's up, true. or if they genuinely mean yeah, it. But you know from a girl that they it is most authentic. Likely, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. I get, I, I don't, I get a lot of compliments from guys, mm. not girls. So if a girl does it for me, I'm like, that's crazy. Mm. I've gotten it a few times, but like they're always people working at the yeah. store, mm-hmm. and I yeah, think yeah. that makes it even better. Yeah, I'm like, because usually have good style. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. For me, like whenever I dress up <clears> in like my my um, my formal clothes. I, I feel excellent. Like I, yeah. I feel like on top of Top-tier. the world. Yeah. So I like I don't care if anyone says anything. Like I No. And if, that's good. If they that say you look good, you say you look bad either. Bad, I, yeah. Like I feel really good. Like that's just yeah, yeah. I'm just like bro. Fucking respect watch, it. Watch you should it. do that. Just start wearing yeah. your, your work dress clothes. Shirts. <laughs> dress shirts on this. No, so no, you go know. off at work, huh? Yeah. Oh he yeah. does. Well it's no because way. the whole setting is like that. They all yeah. Dress and suit bro, I go to work in jeans. I'm, I That's fine. I I used to go to work in jeans too, like in my my like, my previous position. Yeah, yeah. I used to dress up. I mean, I don't go that often. Yeah. Like maybe like once every couple months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I now I don't dress up. I'm kind of just there because nice. nobody else dresses up. Yeah, they're all in jeans. Yeah. Well, that's why you gotta start it, and then you make Chill them vibes. feel comfortable, and then they start joining. Yeah, I'm gonna change the entire like change. office so culture. Change. It's so easy. No, no. It's I so wouldn't. easy. I wouldn't. Why? It's would such it? a power play. When you dress up, Could everyone looks up at you. Could be that's true that's true like, but then you're uncomfortable i feel like dress oh dressy. that's the see that's the thing you you have to do it so much that you and like not that you end up comfortable in it that you end up finding clothes that look good and are comfortable, comfortable? Yeah. that's the that's the goal i feel yeah Cause I've because I've been struggling with that. Then you just own the whole fucking world. Like you can just I get it. I get the vibes. You know what I mean? You're like, like giving You're unstoppable. Boss bitch energy. Literally unstoppable. Yeah, I get I it. Like Who's that? gonna tell you no? I feel like that if I wear like nice like street clothes. Okay. True. Like, I'm yeah. okay. Okay. Like, if but I that's got like your date day. That's true. But yeah. I, that, that makes me feel so good. I yeah. I, like, I agree. Like I, I could look see good that. Ju- look good, feel good is like hundred percent. A hundred percent true. Yeah, mm-hmm. if I look ugly then I'm not gonna Yeah. I'm not going out. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And I try and like look good anywhere I'm going nowadays. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I'm like, I don't. Well, if we'll be going to like Timmy's. I'll still put on a nice yeah. outfit. I'm like, who cares? Yeah. They might as well. Why not? Yeah. I got it. I got the vibes. But yeah, the the show Hot and Single, I love it. 
Um, I want, now I'm like curious. It's actually really good. She'll just interview random people, be like, oh, like, what do you think your red flags are? Or like, <laughs> we talked you, about this last time. Yeah, red why flags. do you think you're single? Yeah, why do you think you're single, Sarah? Me? Yeah. Bruh. I don't even know. I don't think anyone question. knows why they're single. Like, no one, I don't think anyone has an answer to that. Like, like I wouldn't say I'm a hard person to deal with because mm-hmm. I'm not. Maybe I Ooh. am stubborn, sure. That sounds like a hard person to deal no, with. No, no. Like, like I'm actually like i feel like with the right person i'm actually very like willing to compromise i'm not like a fighter i'm not an aggressive person so the right person i think stubbornness might mean character yeah yo chill bro. so i'm not like, no, but you're not <laughs> but no but it means you're not easily influenced you have an opinion yeah yeah that's, i get that that's what i get that. you're yeah. shakespeare right before these podcasts or something <laughs> like you, you, you know what it up? is <laughs> i think the reason i'm single is i don't put myself out there period wow like you I should. actually don't. I, don't. I don't think so. No, no, I like, actually. I don't, I don't think I, you're. No, I actually don't. That's a that's a thing a lot of people I talk to say. They're like, oh, I, like I don't but talk how do you, to random thing, people ever. Do you? Okay, wait. This is. Do you? Are you okay with marrying outside of the culture? Yeah, I would be, okay. but I'd prefer if it wasn't. You would prefer in the culture, but that's yeah. the thing. Like putting yourself out there in the culture is a it's little hard. like it's hard, and in the like places where it's allowed it's like weird it's always like, these like people guys, ready to get cuffed instantly taken i joined softball <laughs> this okay, year yeah. and what's wrong with that no there's nothing wrong with that but i also feel like it was for a way to meet people yeah that's but fine. i i think but do you know don't you know already most people well, there sometimes yeah no but i also don't know a lot of people there oh okay that's good yeah. I, I feel like like i feel like softball wait. is like scout <laughs> Scouting, scouting rounds. <laughs> Wait, yo, can I join? <laughs> yo, join it's it. already done. The season started. <sighs> yeah. Yo, they're next, like no next late. Summer. <laughs> next, I have to wait another year. <laughs> next, guys, my my deadline's twenty seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing time here. No, bro. Yeah, Whether but you like it or not, I'm like, losing time. It's like weird. Like I wouldn't like. There's like edge. There's like connect. But I feel like that's like that's like people ready. Yeah, like I would there. never put myself in that situation. Actually, yeah. I don't know. It's so awkward. Yeah, I didn't know that's I what softball was. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> like, were you, did you do it with the intention of fun? No, no, no. Oh. I actually wanted to do it for fun, but I also feel like people actually go to meet other people there. But like boy, like, like people of the same gender and opposite gender. Yeah, like boys and girls. Yeah, okay. yeah. I feel like it, it, all these things they start with with that. Like they start with something fun, and then eventually, so many people go that it becomes weird. Yeah, that it becomes like a yeah, dick yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, so. next year. Everybody on softball. <laughs> Everybody on softball. I'm putting you guys yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you're struggling, softball may be yeah. the way. Yeah. I don't know. If Sarah's Maybe not we'll in softball it. next year, you know yeah, what happened. Yeah, you know what happened. Happen. Happen. I'm, I'm just letting you guys Maybe. know from now. We will see. We'll see. <laughs> we need the softball soft launch. <laughs> the softball <laughs> soft launch. Oh, my God. I wish. We That'd be a that. crazy one. But by the end of this, I'm, I have higher. Is it just the summer thing, right? It is a summer thing. I'm. I you have, have high, high hopes expect- for me? Yeah, I'm uh, high, high expectations guys, right now. <laughs> like, actually, don't. I'm going to message you at the end of no, the No, 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 like, don't. Sarah, like, how's it, how's it going? No, how's, right? how's, how's it going? <laughs> Every week no. after her yeah, game, like, like, <laughs> any no, leads? No, guys, last <laughs> any leads? <laughs> the week before last week, I pulled my quad muscle. Yeah, wow. Like, yeah. I wanted to die. That's good. This is why I why don't do sports. <laughs> what? No, no. This is why I don't do sports. Taking it bruised. It bruised so hard. I'll show you. You don't have to. Oh, okay. I thought no, you were going to. I'm going like, to. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm about to show it now. I was like, whoa. No, no, no. I'll sh- bro, yeah, it was hor- I've never like experienced pain like that in my life. I I, I hurt myself playing basketball. But, like, I don't do sports for this Did reason. you join basketball to meet other people? <laughs> <laughs> bro, look how badly it bruised. Damn. What? 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 Jeez. What did you do? Was that like right away or is that like a no, day after? Was that like, like you like running? Three days after, I ran wow. too fast, like wow. without stretching. Like I was sprinting. Like, couldn't handle guys, it. Like I never like, stretch. I never stretch either. Yeah, and that's... I was just, I ran too uh. fast. And I think because I had such an adrenaline rush while I was playing, like it actually gets mad intense. Mm. Like I made it to home and I, like people were like, why are you limping? I'm like, what? I am. <laughs> and then I realized it started like hurting. It's adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, Oh, and then I couldn't move after. Like I was like, bro, I'm like living. Damn, it was tough. horrible. You had a good night's sleep though, didn't you? Like, what do you mean? Like that night. Like off meds? No, like in general. No, no, I didn't. Really? What do you mean? I bro, me, I cried. No, I, 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 I enjoy. <laughs> like I bawled my eyes out. Well, actually, okay, like uh, not not in terms of injury, but generally speaking, I enjoy doing like physically demanding things because I know I'm gonna sleep well that night. 
I get it. No, yeah, that was your body not can handle me. like ten minutes of physical activity. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what is this? Guys, <laughs> we're going back to the dad ball thing. Like, no, it's not even that. We we're in the we're in the basketball league. Okay. Bushoy plays like ten minutes, and then that just was just this. Wait, game. Wait, you guys are part of STM? Yeah. yeah. Stop this! I yeah. didn't know, yeah. guys. I want to watch your game. Come, I think we okay. have we have one next week, but we're gonna get smoked because our best players are. Well, I'm, I'm excited for that one because okay, tell me when that's when we actually, actually play, and I, I feel like I'll get more comfortable. I actually want to come watch. Bro. I didn't know you guys did STM. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, Marco, uh, who cares? Uh, one of our friends, Marco, is also in STM, but he's on a different team. They have yeah. a game on Monday. I'm gonna show up just to like support him. Like, I just want to watch the game for yeah, fun. Yeah. I want to see if I could get cute. people to come. It'll be cool. Yeah. But um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm sure his knees give out in like five minutes. Oh, I have really bad knees. And yeah. like ankles and like shoulders. No, my ankles yeah. are fine. My my shoulders, yeah. I have my right. But shoulder. Shoulder complains about every now. piece of body ever. Yeah. yeah I do no, have but wait, bad bro. A lot of people complain about their knees and their shoulder. Yeah. Well, I mean, the sh the shoulder happened in the gym, so that that's understandable. Yeah. I sometimes guess. when you fuck up your like a joint at the gym, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I had a pretty bad injury at the yeah. gym. Um, but my knees, I don't know. Yeah. I just have old man knees. Yeah. But yeah, like after the game, I think like yesterday or two days ago, you were like, yeah, that's, I, I can't get, I can't I slept it. well that night. I was actually struggling because I pulled like a, uh, I pulled the muscle. Yeah. And I was like. Why are we all pulling it. muscles? This yeah. is why I don't, I don't play sports. I'm, I stretch it out. I'm okay now. I got to yeah. just get back in. Yeah. Like, move it a no. little. It was horrible for but, me. Yeah, I didn't go to work that week. Take it. Really? You're the whole yeah, because week? I was limping. Yeah. Oof. Oh, but you still work from home. Like you're. Yeah, I work oh, from yeah, home. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I thought like, like you I'm like didn't like. I actually, work at all. I called. I called in sick one day. I was like, I, I can't get no, out of bed. I can't get Damn. out of bed. Damn. I could no, not. My horrible. leg was just gone. Yeah, it's horrible. Bro, just just say online and sleep. I would actually much rather because people message me asking me for like yeah, stuff, and I'm like, sure. bro, yo, you're getting paid. I, I'm getting paid either way. I have sick I know, days. I know, but you get <laughs> yeah. you, you, like, you get to keep the thing for later. But yeah, you get yeah. True. No, I wouldn't fine. use a sick day, but yeah, I I would use it. I really, I have so many banked up, but yeah. Why are you excited for next week? We're actually gonna get smoked. Like there's oh no, I'm excited to just get more opportunity like, to play. Oh. Yeah, and I and know yeah, you have to score some points this and to get chance. comfortable on the court. Like I feel like I I stress yeah. too much performance yeah. anxiety, yeah. so yeah. I feel like it's really? my time. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like that with big games for softball. I got mm. I'm scared. like that in so many things. I I get performance anxiety a lot. Yeah, and and that's something I want to kind of work on. You gotta get a, yeah, you gotta get in there. Mm -hmm. You gotta get play time. Do yeah. you have to score some points? You have to, yeah, I, I, th I think I'll, I think yeah. I'll score some points. We're gonna get smoke too for softball next week. Why? We're reversing like the team that's never been beaten like once. Jeez. And they're like, wait, can we show up to these games? Yeah, they're on yeah. Sundays. Yo. Usually, like the first game. Another way to meet people. No, yeah, no, for real. They usually start at two thirty. Most games. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. What am I so not doing anything on Sunday? Yeah, it's literally softball Sundays. Like yeah. people know. Yo. Wait, do other people show up or am I just going to be in the stands by no, myself? No, 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 no. Other Let's people show up around. too. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I'm kind of yeah, down. Yeah. Get a vibe it's going. It's fun. Yeah, it gets mad intense. Okay. Yeah. Yo, where is it? Actually, I guess it's it usually at Mount Charles. No idea where that is. It's <laughs> Yo, close to the Reach Mount Charles. Reach Mount Charles, guys. Watch me play. Is that in Saga? Yeah. Oh, I've never yeah. heard of this place. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> now nah, we'll show up. Yeah. I'll You'll come. show up, though. Oh. Alone? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get like a like, like a, a Sarah poster. Like, let's go, Sarah. I'm going to hold it up. Get yeah. the finger. <laughs> get the, get the oh number God. one fan. Yo, if I do I that. I love that. I would do that. Stop, stop. <laughs> How stop, much is stop. That's probably like $5 on Amazon. Like, I'll do it. <laughs> no. Show up with the foam finger. You're like, let's no. go. Yo, this Sunday? Yeah. I'm do. I'm down. I'll be there. This Sunday's not at Mount Charles. My game is at Mark Charles, though. It's at Quinn. I don't know what park it's called. Yeah, you could just text me yeah, the text details. Yeah, I'll text you. I got you. I'll be there. Okay. I'll get like a cool. group going with like the Sierra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you have everyone listening. To just yeah, no, for real, <laughs> yeah. guys. Guys, pull up. <laughs> no, and watch me play. People, bro, people doubted me, but I'm actually kind of good. So. Jeez. Yeah. I respect it. No, Are you a good like catcher, batter? No, no, no not catching. Oh, though. okay. No, bat, I can at? bat. Oh, you're, bat? you're a good batter? Yeah. Nice. Nice. But not catch. I'm always on the outfield like to the like. Oh, like nowhere. Yeah. Okay. So the ball doesn't come near me because I can't catch. Both. Do you pitch? No, I don't pitch. Mm, okay. No, no, no. No, I'll, I'll, I'll show up. Yeah, I'll come. Show up. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. No, that's sick. I actually don't know. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm gonna show up to all these games now. <laughs> no, you <laughs> should, bro. Bear people come. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I used to be on the softball friends. team as a kid. Really? Yeah. yeah. How, How was that? Huh? How was that? It, it, were you good? It was so fun because we were all so shit. <laughs> it was so but fun. But to be honest, it is like, I feel like some people take it too serious and then you just take the fun out of it. Oh, STM is so serious. Yeah. 
like but i feel like egyptians are just like that like why like just chill out N- no it's not just egyptians it's just a person like a lot of people are genuinely like people get i get competitive but like with my team what i liked about my team like or the team i joined is like they give constructive criticism it's not like oh why the fuck did you do that like oh, yeah. you missed this like they're like oh you could have done this better like you know blah blah, blah. Yeah. like i don't like when you take the fun out and it gets too serious and it's just like bro now i'm not having fun anymore no it's actually something i love about our team they're everybody's nice yeah. like they're not like oh yeah. like you're you're making us lose you're such a like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're so trash yeah um i actually really like that but there's other people i'll be playing against and they're trash talking me i'm not even yeah. like i'm not even close to being bro but i love court. that i would love that bro you like to get into the fights oh yeah. I, bro. I actually laugh <laughs> bro there was bear fights in our last game it was actually really? funny i was like no beef, not beef, not, beef. not fights i like i'm i'm so into trash talking you want to trash talk we'll do it we'll do it <laughs> we'll trash talk all day like we'll I'll, even if i'm shit i know i'm shit yeah I'll but trash in the talk moment you're like I, fuck you yeah. if i'm trash i can't trash talk and like i i don't care i got I, 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 I get where you're coming from it's like an ego thing ish i i bro for me i look at it as an opportunity to get in their head yeah so yeah yeah i'm yeah, 100 yeah. trash. Really? if someone trash talks me I'm, I, I'm like that too sometimes yeah i'm bringing that if energy I fuck too you over, oh i'm the, i just take it literally last game i got hard fouled and then it wasn't called and i was like yo that's a hard foul and some guy walks up to me, he's like yo it's not like you're gonna score anyways oh I'm like, what are, why'd what you do that to yourself what why what do you, I just laughed. I was like, that's funny, though. Like, he, he had a good point. I wasn't going to score either way. It was funny. So I just took it. What am I going to do? Yeah. Uh, but it was a hard foul. But it's okay. It happens to all of us. Yeah. But I take it like a champ. <laughs> I can't believe there's trash talking in softball. Yeah. Like, it gets Always. that competitive? Y- yeah. Jeez. Yeah, especially with, like, the o- older heads, like, that take it serious. Like Wow. No. It's, in, it's mad intense. I don't know why. I just, I, I'm just going for fun, but. Okay. I got it. Yo, I'll I'll be I'll trash talk from the sidelines. No, I'll be like, yeah, Yo, people do that all the time. Really? <laughs> and then the ump is like, guys, like settle down. Yeah, s- yeah, no, it gets Bro, I, I was serious. trash talking off the bench. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not I can't trash talk. With sports. I actually can't trash. But I get it. It's like the competitive nature. You want to win. Yeah. Like, like when you're winning, it's so fun. But then when you're losing, it's like fuck. Why? It's such a good feeling when you do something good. Yeah. Like you hit a shot or like, I'm like yes, I did something for my team. Like you got first base, yeah. you're like, I'm yes, the, I'm the, not the adre- bitch. Yeah, like <laughs> the adre- yeah. adrenaline. Yeah. Adrenaline. I can't say that word. Adrenaline. Yeah. Ad- adrenaline. Oh, adrenaline. Damn, even adrenaline. when you try to say, it. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't say it. It's such a hard word. Adrenaline. No. Nope. Adrenaline. 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 It's fine. Adrenaline. Nah, who cares? Adrenaline. It's fine. The rush. The rush that comes this, with adrenaline. It. This is not going to turn into speech there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The know? rush um, you get from it. I want to. I want to kind of bring this back to like kids because I what? think <laughs> Bishoy is like overthinking yeah. it now. No, no, yo, yo Bishoy, take, but you're I'm down. taking this I, I like so this seriously. Combo. No, I like no, this combo. I, it, it's just something I'm that, that ha- I, I thought of. I'm happy we brought up kids. Yo, yo, you you're gonna hit us with some like profound quote. No, because I no, 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 guys, I feel like last episode was so like stupid. Like the, like the w- the shit we I were talking about was whack. Yeah, I, lo- was I loved it, but this is like more serious. Yeah, yeah. like it shows growth. Okay, we're okay. evolving. Yeah. We're, we're evolving. You know, okay, um, go back. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, no, I was just gonna say I think uh, sports are so important for kids. Like yeah. I, I think oh. it's such a good it's such a good developmental developmental way for kids. Yeah, because yeah, like for I uh, like we're for us when you do something good, it feels so good yeah imagine like for a kid how much that would mean for them and how much that would teach them about like Mm -hmm. hard work or whatever yeah and like team playing and like i get that my kid is gonna be in every sport no (laughs) force of it every yeah no like you're playing soccer you're playing basketball we need that scholarship you know what uh, what i (laughs) like you you know what i think is sad sometimes i think it's it's sad whenever someone's really good at a sport but it's like questionable whether they're good enough to do make it, it pro. Yeah, yeah. And don't and worry, your kids then, are like. I don't think you ever have to worry about. That. And then have to decide. <laughs> you're never like, going pro, bro. <laughs> don't say that. You never know. I, I refuse to believe any of our kids are going pro. You know, unless know. like we're. I don't. I don't think it has anything to do with the parents. It's genetics. No. Well, your kids going pro in chess. But like, I feel like you could build. Bro, bro, you could build a skill. I like, for example, let's look at. Let's look at basketball players since we only know, or since we know basketball the most. How many parents of basketball players are players? 
Bro, lame argument. Like, what do you mean? No. <laughs> but it's true. You can <laughs> build. Argument. You can it's build a skill. Genetics. though. You can build a skill. Yeah, it's not I mean, genetics. Like, no, part of it is just like I might. If your kid is like five six, he's not making it. Sure, no matter sure. how skillful he is, he's not making sure. the league. Uh, what? Uh, there's some Who? players. Out Who's there? five six? The the shortest player ever was like Muggsy Bogues, and he was like five five or something. All right, there you go. And he was like so mid. But Shoy has spanked his kid like that. No, it, it, I'm, I'm not. Look, sure, genetics plays, a, genetics plays a, a role in it, but I'm not in all sports. Like, yeah. you know, there, there are some sports. Tell me a sport. Tennis? Uh, let's say, like, fighting, for example. Tennis, sure. Fighting needs genetics. What? You could get these on your own. Yeah, but your stature, like, you're also short. Well, there's different. There's different but I feel uh, like, no, you can train to be a fighter. Yeah. You can. And build muscle and whatever. Yeah. Tennis, same thing, tennis, no? No, tennis is like a little bit like tennis height doesn't matter as much. Belt is like okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah it's just stamina. Yeah, yeah. So there are right? like you swimming, could. swimming. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But a, gonna, a, a lot of things if you start doing them like from a young age. Yeah, so you're you gonna go to them. put your kids through this to get them in a league or get them <laughs> in like a pro sport. Well, no, no. I, I, like, I don't have a plan or a goal or whatever. But like, if it Who's happens, it happens. There's like, somebody you yeah. know. You can't say, gymnastics. "Oh, you're never gonna have." There's like, a sexy guy that does gymnastics. Anthony Topic. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Once yeah. I said sexy guy, she got it. <laughs> Are we just dropping like full? <laughs> yeah, you said full, full last name. Yeah, full government. Yeah, full government name. Uh, no, yeah, he's sexy really good at gym- guy. Did gymnastics? Went out of school. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he ever made it pro. But I think I'm not does, sure, but he just does, or I, I don't know. Maybe he did it for school. Yeah, maybe he got the opportunity to go pro and he didn't want to, and he went pharmacy instead. I, I know he's doing no farm idea. now. Yeah, um, which is respectable. I think that's pretty cool. But like making it pro, pro is hard. My what I was trying to say is that like the hardest part is getting to that point where you decide should I keep going? That, like should I focus on my academics or should I focus on on like going pro? Yeah, and and yeah. I feel like every. Every kid who has some sort of potential faces that, especially I, during high school. But I also feel like it's a risk, honestly, you should take. To go pro? Or yeah, to, your academics I, well, can also I, always be there. Don't you think? Would you, would you, would you say that to your kids? Yeah, As I a think parent, so. like, you'd, you'd advise them, like, no, I'd, go for it? I think so, yeah. Okay, that's, bro, nice. that's nice I to hear. I was talking to some guy who was telling me his brother, um, like, dropped out of university to like go to the olympic he was on like the olympics like training team wow. for something that's crazy um and like you if you're on the training team you get the opportunity to go into the actual olympics and he never made it and he just kept yeah. training like year in yeah. year yeah. out he did it for like four years and he never actually made the olympics like he because it's every four years mm-hmm. so he tried once didn't get it tried four years again didn't get it and he's like, okay like i'm yeah. over and it's also like it's a lot of time like he's probably yeah. like 28 at that time You'd have to be 32 at his next Olympics. Yeah. Chances, like, drop because, like, it's a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, no, after, like, four years, like, if you haven't made it, yeah. you're out. So he just went back to school and finished yeah. whatever, and now he's just chilling. Yeah. It's a lot of effort, to be honest, to do some yeah, of these Yeah, but things. at least he, like, tried, and then he knew. Yeah. I feel like I'd always be curious on the what if. The what know? if. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I was, uh, I'm, like, going through a lot of things the past week, and I just keep telling myself, you live with the shots you take. Like, that's true i don't that's i such I, a good motto wow. i don't know where i i don't know if you if i heard that somewhere but i was just saying it to myself i was like you live with the shot like you take a shot whether it's like a girl or opportunity mm-hmm. or whatever yeah it doesn't work out you shot. you live with it and like you just keep yeah. going and i'm like that's like the the that's like the motivation to get through like a, a bad week for me at this yeah, point yeah i like that you that's with, cute yeah you live with the shots you take I should like frame that and get it like and quoted yeah. by Stephen. <laughs> Stephen, twenty twenty three at the bottom yeah. there. I like that. No, it's true. And I then like, sell it. Yeah, yeah. I got. I need to write this in a book somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, for real. Whoa! Imagine writing a self help book. A self help book. Yeah, <laughs> like one of those like, pe- like you read it to like people feel better about that. Like the, you don't know. But I don't think like I'm too mentally unstable to write. Yeah, I'm. Book I'm book. so mentally unstable. To I don't write think half of the writers are mentally yeah. stable. But I think that's the fun part. Imagine <laughs> helping somebody and you just don't know what's happening. Half no, the time. no. I don't think but then anyone. You're a crazy person. I don't think anyone knows like anything i think we're all trying to figure Nobody it out knows anything yeah. i think we're all trying to figure yeah. it out i don't so think you feel like self-help deeper. books are a lie no Low i don't key. think they're a lie <laughs> <laughs> guys that's the title of this episode. i, I think Dude, have uh i don't know have you ever read uh what is it the subtle art of not giving enough no bro but i heard it's really good it's so good but the deeper you look at it this guy has no idea what he's saying mm. 
Mm. I don't know what's that's so interesting. The, uh, that's what I feel. I've yeah. read it a few times, um, just because it's like you know the story. Yeah, <laughs> it's in the back of my car. Yeah, and anytime we're just doing a road trip or whatever, I just start reading randomly. Yeah, and How often you're doing road trips, brother. Oh, often. What? Like our road trips? Like I'm chilling in the back reading. Okay. No way. I mean, like I'm not. It's like family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not like road tripping myself yeah, and reading. Yeah, I was just like, about to say. I was like so confused. I was like, I'm driving and road yeah. and reading yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So I'm reading. Um. And I had the book for like two, three years now. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Every time I read it, I'm like, I don't know if I fully believe this. It's f- it's similar to this book I read called Why Men Love Bitches. Yeah. What? I've never heard of that. <laughs> but that sounds. <laughs> yeah, it's a book. It's Why Men Love Bitches, and there's a second part. Why Men Marry Bitches. Why? Like, it's just What's basically like? explaining how, like, women shouldn't, like, necessarily, like, be a doormat, how to keep, like, a guy on his toes, like, sort of that thing, but that like, vibe. Like, it kind of works, but that's not really but how it's it also, works. Yeah, it was just, like, extreme. I feel. Yeah, like, I feel like they take some of these legitimate points and they just shove them up to, like, the super yeah, extreme yeah. end. And I feel like I'm never going to live by these rules. And it was just like, oh, like, don't sleep with a guy, like, when you first meet them. Like, all these, like, things. Like I think I think the thing is with, with, with these books is that, like, you, like, they have, like, two cents. Like, they have an idea, you know, yeah. they're two cents of the book. And then they just write a whole book around it. Yeah. And at least for me, what I do is I read the whole book and then I take my two cents from it. Yeah, you get the main message. Yeah. Vibe. I, I think if you were to ever to if you were to ever to read a book and fully absorb not fully absorb but fully like listen to it and do everything that it says yeah then first of all you like there comes to a point where you have to realize that book was written by a person mm-hmm. like that that they're book, probably also not mentally stable yeah. that they're book probably could, like us yeah and I feel like a lot of people fall into that that they think like this book is law. Like everything mm-hmm. that is here is 100%, which yeah. is not always the case. At number one. Number two, um, yeah, you have to kind of be able to figure out like, hey, this is what works for me. I'm going to I'm gonna yeah. take this. And that's my takeaway from the book. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah. I like that. The, especially when it comes to the, the whole self-help um, area. Like, a lot of them are just repeats of the same thing. Yeah, like, same I've, vibe. I think I've read... <sighs> eight ten of them and yeah they're literally all like what do they call when it you read eight or ten self-help books <laughs> yeah yeah that's so crazy <laughs> what <laughs> I, i'm at Yo, the bar right now i'm just like word um yeah. what do they call Yo, how it about, like you do something with your friends i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, it's time to go out yeah it's time I, dude, I, put I, the it's books time. down and it's over it's time like, You've been Petition helped enough. Petition for Bishoy to spend more than $40 a month. Guys, I will start a GoFundMe <laughs> yeah. to get Bishoy these drink tickets. <laughs> like, please. please. Guys, I, I will go out. I, I will never turn down an outing. Like, don't get me wrong. Okay. I'm just not going to spend any money. Okay, we can do stuff that's free. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm there. It, like, I'm, it, there. I'm not saying it doesn't, it doesn't have to be like essentially zero. If it's under $10, I'm there. Okay. Under ten dollars. <laughs> like, like we went go- from forty to ten. No, no. Like if you're going to a restaurant, you know. And so I'll, it sounds I'll come like a Tim's you. and Wendy's vibe. Yeah, yeah. Bro, you like, if you want to go to a restaurant, I'll come. I'll just have a drink and leave. I think we okay. all we almost like, went to. Uh, I think we almost we went to a place for food, and we realized only like one person is buying, and it was like, a group of like five oh, yeah. people. Bro, know, that happened so many times. Happens. Yeah, that's so like that's so tough yeah that's super no, no, super no. i also think it's uh, no i i think it's shitty for 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 like businesses and the culture to be in that way i think you should be th- the way things should be viewed is that if you have people that just want to go somewhere and chill let them even if they don't plan on buying because yeah. eventually like they will buy like you have the longer they spend there sort yeah of yeah i and i feel but like also- as a business if you if you're not busy up to the brim and you don't have uh, and you know you're not full, and you you're just trying to get these guys so that other people that are paying are staying. Then sure, I understand that. But otherwise, bro, let yeah, them sit, let them chill. I think it just depends. Build a yeah. rapport with them. Let them like you. Build a rapport. Yeah, you, I'm not even joking. Invite them over to your house. No, like let them let them enjoy the environment. Let them like the restaurant. Let them make jokes with the bartender. Uh, Eventually, yeah. they'll spend something. If not today, tomorrow, they'll bro. come back another day. 
I got the sudden urge to just go to a bar and just chill there by myself. Really? Yeah, like, I got. I mean, get a drink. Bro, I'm, I'm, g- I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of like weird urges recently. That, that's like alcoholic vibes. Yeah, like, I'm not like. I'm okay. I'm not like downing like six tequila well, shots. Yeah, now. I know. But this I'm getting is like, like a cocktail and watching like the game or something by myself. It's so so weird. But I feel like like it's just because like you want to meet people. It's no? s- it's similar vibes to the going to the restaurant alone. I think. Mm-hmm. Going to just, just the bar yeah. just to chill alone. But like going to the bar, like you're going. I to would never go to the bar alone. Why? Yeah, I mean, no. you you get hit on like. It's not even like get hit on like. No. Too much. Weird vibes. Yeah, yeah which weird vibes. I, don't, I, See, I mean, this is the exact same w- reason why your parents don't leave you out <laughs> yeah. at night. See? Like curfew. True. Yeah. It's true. See. But yeah, I have uh, the sudden urge to just uh, buzz and then like dye my hair. Don't buzz. Just I don't hair. understand <laughs> the buzz trend. Dude, it looks so good. The it, buzz, some not on everyone. Some pull yeah, it. some people can rock. I want to try it, <laughs> and they can rock it heavy. Yeah, it should be jacked. We did it. We did it. Like, it's not about being jacked. I don't ago. agree. Oh yeah. yeah, I don't think it looked that good. No, to be honest. Didn't. And then you you buzzed your hair before? Like a long time. We ago. we like both years like ago together. You, I know you buzzed your hair. We did it at yeah. the same time. Really? Yeah, in we high school? Were you in high school? No, no. I buzzed. I buzzed recently. We buzzed when like multiple times. Twenty twenty one, I think something like I, that. I I I did I did both twenty twenty and twenty twenty one. Yeah, I buzzed twice. No way. And then you had a buzz in here. Like you want me to show grade eight or yeah. something like a yeah, long time. Yeah, I Where's saw his old buzz like back in the. Now you have to show me your recording? buzz. I don't know. No, it's not the one recording. I have no idea. I actually don't know if I have any okay, photos of wait, the buzz. No, keep going. I'll, I'll just find it. Um, what else? I have the sudden urge to just get a bunch of tattoos. I got a tattoo recently. Really? I was I gonna got ask this one, and then I have another one. Of Wait, you have tattoos? I didn't know. Yeah. Is this Where? New, like how recent this, is this? This is like three weeks ago, but it's guys really? it's already fading ish. It actually looks good. It, I have to get it touched up. I like up. it. Yeah. And then I got my mom's like, well, I got Viva on my side for Vivian because my mom. I always call That's her Viva, cute. and like Viva is life in Spanish, so. That's, That's cute. cute. I'll show you. I got it on my side. Did you get them both together? Yeah. Nice. Just to like bite the bullet. Why not? Mm. What like made you? Were you not? See, that's the thing. I, I was so picky. I I remember we talked about this last episode. I was so picky with tattoos. I think I'm still a little bit like if I'm gonna get a tattoo, like it has to be something really good, and I like believe yeah. in it. it has, like yeah, it has yeah, to yeah, look yeah, good. Yeah, There's yeah, so many yeah. factors, and I could just never bring myself to go over that. But for and me, do it. it took me like months to like decide. Mm. Like I knew like the idea. Let me show you. I think even if I spent months deciding. I would like to actually set a date and be like, okay, I'm going to go in and book and whatever. Yeah. I feel like I would be too scared to do that. Like my anxiety would just go through the roof. That's actually really cute. Yeah. And they're like, they have like similar, like, what oh, is nice. it? Yeah. The, like the fine line. Fine like, line top. Yeah, yeah. The fine line stuff I is like really va- nice. I like dainty stuff. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like, like, it's just small. Like it's easily hidden. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's nothing serious. Yeah. It's nothing yeah. huge. I n- I'm not into huge tattoos. Like I'm yeah. not that girl. Like I would never get a sleeve. The people that get like the huge like cross across no, their back. No, no, no. Those no. look like they hurt. <laughs> no, bro. Like. Did it hurt? It feels like someone's like, like scraping like something on you. Ugh. Like I don't know how to explain. Oh, okay. yeah. it. That doesn't sound like, too take, bad. Like take take like a lead pencil and like scratch yourself. Oh, That's what okay. it feels like. Yeah. But it's not bad at all. I expected it to be way worse. That's good. Like, I, f- I feel like these wouldn't take that long. No, 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 no they didn't. Like if anything my wrist hurt more than my side. Okay. Which that. is so surprising, but Honestly, what? do it. I I the vouch tattoos? for tattoos. Yeah. But the thing is, I, like, I have the urge to just get like a full, like the patchwork, like just random tattoos. Really? Like cross. sticker? Really? Like just all across? No way. But I feel like that's like a style that you have to be able to pull off. And yeah, I feel like yeah, a yeah. few years down the line, I don't you know. You might regret it. You'd yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like what the fuck was that? That's why I don't want to commit to all of these. Yeah. But I know a person that has it and they look so good. Yeah. Uh, a guy or girl? A guy. guy? A guy yeah. my age from high school that I know. Yeah. He has it. So like sticker a, tats? So yeah. sexy. Like it's all like fine line tattoos just randomly. Yeah. And each one says something else. And yeah. maybe he like will do like a full sleeve later on, who knows? Yeah. But it looks good. But I'm like I don't like tats that have no meaning for me. That's a thing. Like if they're just random, like nah. Yeah. I'm not into the vibe. It just depends, I feel. It's true. I don't think I'll ever do it. Yeah. I don't, I don't have the I don't know. I, for me I it needs to have like insanely sentimental value. Yeah. For me to Yeah. It's not yeah. even that. I just know a few years down the line I'm gonna be like, This sucks. 
Well, yeah. that's why it has like. Yeah. That's why for me, I wanted to have like. Insane like, would you ever get a cross or no? Yeah, yeah. that's the only I, thing I would ever like. Get. Th- my dream tattoo is to have a giant cross on my back. You're so. Okay. I literally just. We well, just <laughs> talked about. Wait, that. what? I literally yeah. just oh, said. Sorry, I, I hate I people that have the huge <laughs> cross down their back. I, I want so it like literally down my spine. Where just, that's gonna from, kill. <laughs> yeah, which is exactly why I want it there yeah. too. I know it's gonna hurt bear. Why is it? Because like, are you a masochist? No, it's it's want the pain. It's kind of shows like significance. Like I want to do it for like God. for a reason. Yeah, like you know like, what I God mean. God sacrificed his like. Yeah, I'm not doing this for shit. So like it's yeah. and I want I it to it. to be kind of across my back so that it's also like like God literally has my back. I like that. Like that's that's my yeah. meaning of it. That's my interpretation. Yeah. Well, um, please never do it though. I don't know. Well, I mean, wh- like why not? Like you'd get it now or when you're older. No, when I'm older. Yeah. I want to yeah. be teased when I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's I never guess. happening. I'm so what? sorry. Don't. I, guys, I hate this negative energy. No. no, I just actually no no. Maybe it will happen. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it'll happen. I take it back. The <laughs> Michelle's dad bod face will forever live. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're saying. Maybe maybe it'll be a big dad bod like I back. Can't, like I can't I wait for Michelle to just get super jacked, and yeah. then you'd be like, "I liked you better when you had the dad <laughs> when bod." You had dad bod <laughs> yeah, you were cuter when you had when the you dad had bod. The cuter, yeah. <laughs> okay, I I I have you. you have the, the, do you have a picture of me the buzz. with the buzz? Mm, just you? I'll try and find that. But this is okay. me with the buzz. Show oh, me. It's it's it was really bad. <laughs> No, that's horrible. No, no, no. Look like an egg. No, no, no. No. Yeah, it was really bad. What an. Thank God that was like COVID times. That was COVID times. Oh, oh, actually, no, I remember now the background behind this. This was my mom did this, and I told her, like, look, if you're going to cut me, you're going to buzz me because I don't, like, trust anything else. So I had a bunch of different, like, random hairstyles in COVID, too. I literally have random pictures of me, like, braiding my hair because I would just grow it out super long. I feel like you'd look nice with braids. Really? Yeah. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah. That's actually like, something I could try. Like two braids. Two braids? Oh, do that the, the Drake one? Yeah. Make it like a heart? <laughs> like, yeah, why not? Maybe. I don't know. Do you braid hair? No, not at all. Oh, I have to find I would, like, wish. Let's see. I actually don't think I have a picture of me with buzzed hair. It was, like, way too But, hey, I found, like, I think four months after that, I found a video of me again. Um, with the buzz? No, like, well, it grew out. Oh. But it looks so much better. Um, Here. I have pictures post-buzz, like, it growing out, and me it my looks d- so bad. My dad vibes again, going to the beach. <laughs> Show me. This is it, like, growing out. But that, your hair looks like that, yeah. like that now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks the same. Yeah. yeah, I don't have the buzz. No, guys, don't buzz your hair again. Yeah. Only certain buzz people doesn't Buzz doesn't work on everyone. Buzz doesn't work. And I think it depends on the head shape, too. No, Look at that. Yeah. No. Just the buzz. No, Bishop. The he- I have a very circular head. Yeah. So it just I looks terrible. I feel like terrible. you have to have a really slim Egg. face, too. Yeah. Okay. Very slim and... Oh, yeah, you're not talking about Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. You just weren't talking. Oh, was I not? Oh, okay. You were just, like, turned away. Like, <laughs> um, Tough. Yeah, but I think you need to have something, like, slim and long. Yeah, yeah, and I agree. and maybe some structure. Like you need to have like facial structure a little bit. I don't know. Mm. I feel like I don't have any of that, and it's just like, like a round it ball. <laughs> it literally looks like a, a figurine. Like I don't know if you have like yeah, the yeah, Lego yeah. Lego head. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you compared it to that. But it, am I not? But no, but yeah, true. it's accurate. True. Lego head, and you know when they have like the hair that you can attach. On oh that? my god! Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. Oh, right. I want to do braids. Yeah, do it. Show up. No, probably not next week. I I wanted to in do braids. In a few braids. weeks, I want to do braids. I want to do braids in high school. I gotta grow them out. I don't think you'd look good in braids now. Cool. Guys. Back when I had my hair grown out in high school. Do you guys remember that? No. My hair used to be really uh, grown out. Maybe. I was debating on doing braids then before cutting it off. But braids like, uh, gives like light skin like vibes. So. Yeah, I, I give off light skin vibes. Like, it could, yeah. It would definitely give off light skin Like, vibes. braids on anyone give yeah. off light skin vibes. Mm. Yeah, whether you like it or not. I don't like, know if that's... I feel like... Actually, no. I don't even know. <laughs> what were you going to say? I was going to say, I feel like I already... Like, the way I dress is, like, light skin vibes. I feel like this is, like, the, the street... Street stuff, yeah. Yeah, and no, if I, I, I like, complete still, the look, and it's kind of weird. No, I don't think it would look... Like, like, I don't think you're, you're... I don't think the dressing style has anything to do with light skin. Like, I could see anyone wearing that fit. Okay. I yeah. It's just dissing you. Yeah. No. Honestly. Yeah, no. Well, cool. what? That's cool. Like, well, you can't be anyone. 
No. I'm not. Anyone. Are you going for a light skin? No, I'm not. Okay. okay. Somebody yeah, actually yeah. told me I give off light skin. Yeah. Somebody, no way. Somebody. Yeah, a girl at work. She was like, "You give off light skin vibes." I'm like, no way. Weird. She's weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I don't see light skin. I see yeah, Spanish. Yeah, people who see light skin are weird. No, not what like in mean? terms of like not in terms of like like skin tone yeah oh, i know like energy yeah like light skin energy which i don't think i give no, off at no, all not at all no, yeah. wait no no but you were saying this about how you dress no yeah well she saw the way i dress and she was like you give off light skin vibes no way yeah no that she's weird yeah. <laughs> i mean i told her <laughs> she's I, like, nah. weird weird uh conclusion weird conclusion maybe she's trying to get with it you know yeah no nah, she she's like one of those like work wifeys that like flirts all the time mm. and she's like yeah Mm. she's just bored probably i i mean like i won't like air i have bro i have so much tea on this girl like what? it's insane tell, tell I, us i don't know if i tell actually sure why not she had like a boyfriend of like 12 years okay and they like broke up recently okay after 12 years Good and enough. she wow. broke up with him how old is she uh our age, no, our no, age what she'd be dating him when she was 10 yeah yeah she's like 28 29 something okay like that. um and she broke up with him and like the same week his mom died <gasps> damn crazy like things Bruh. happen and she like sh- and she, she like, couldn't wait a little and she helped plan the funeral and everything oh and my then god uh, i would be so furious yeah if you, you were the you, guy <laughs> you would be beyond that to me yeah like you would. oh he's still trying to get with her he's he's still no uh, way he's still okay. drunk that makes texting sense her. that makes sense now is drunk he, texting i mean like no but that's cr- i don't know if he, no. okay i don't know we can't we're not sure if he's drunk texting yeah but he's like hey like like late at night be like, yeah, you yeah, yeah 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 he could be i don't no, know no this, sure. this just displays the the power in the relationship the power dynamic and clearly he's like insanely in love yeah her. on his knees and she's controlling the relationship Yo, but she's the yeah. one that's i'm on it. i'm on her side though i feel like really she could do better maybe maybe it was a toxic thing and yeah, we don't know I, I think so i think yeah. she could do better like for well sure. and, and that's the thing like maybe but honestly i feel like some girls just wait too long like if you know like your relationship is shit like just end it i don't get people who rely so much on history and like we have so much history like i can't restart it i don't get that excuse oh yeah. i say that all the time really yeah i feel like if you've been dating for more than like two three years like you're, it's over like if you break it off now it's no but like if you feel like like it's like not going the way you want anymore like what do you mean like how are you gonna just rely on history i guess you're gonna be living with that person for the rest of your life like yeah what? i mean i think it depends the way i look at things is like look whatever whatever issues like we gotta do with yeah it we can like you it, know what i mean but sometimes it just gets too tough like you yeah. can't uh, yeah i yeah yeah and it's it could like be one dependent. of those where it's like it was toxic for a really long time like mm-hmm. even from the like in the beginning and you would just like let it like slide you know yeah. yeah also like if you're dating for like that long of a time like you gotta put a ring on it at some point yeah like you need to oh my make god the, you could only wait years you could only there were since like high school that's like, crazy there's only so long that you could wait before somebody yeah. gets fed up with the situation was she like waiting like, yeah she wanted him to propose wow they, i think for a few years she was waiting and yeah. dude, I would make fun of her because anytime she would be like going on like a vacay or something, I'd be like, "Oh, is he it's gonna? Time. It's gonna be this time for sure." And yeah. she's like, "Yeah, I hope so." And then like we come back and happened. nothing. Oh my and I'm like, God. "Tough, it's yeah. tough." Yeah. I hope she doesn't listen to this. Oh my god, <laughs> she no, does she, it. Nah, <laughs> she does it, but nah. that's uh, yeah, it'd that's be funny. crazy. Totally but yeah, crazy. every time and nothing like nothing ever comes out of it. And they go on like overnight trips to like yeah. wherever, like Alberta, like Bam, yeah, whatever. Yeah. They're doing and they're she's Bro, like a hiking I'd be person. like like always having my nails done because then yeah. I wouldn't know. Like, hello. <laughs> like always ready. No, I'm but like what, ready. like uh, are they not having conversations about this at all? Like I feel like you as a couple, you still need to have like a basis. A they timeline. probably did. They probably did. I mean, so she probably so she should have him. expected. She probably tells him, and he's probably not ready. Yeah, I, that's and what? Yeah, so there's some. But sort also, of when are you gonna be ready? Wow. Well, yeah, they, like, cl- sounds- they clearly didn't have that conversation, is what I'm saying, because she's expecting something and he's clearly not delivering. So, like, what? Ma- like, maybe that, no, no. was that the reason she ended it? Like, she was like tired of waiting, or there's a lot of yeah. There's a okay. lot of things going on. Yeah. Um, but like. They were, like anytime I would show up to work, she 
she would have like a fight with him yeah and, I, yeah, I, and yeah. like i she i become like therapy at work to be honest i do the same like if i'm having if i'm going through something yeah. she's the first person that knows the, the work bestie is always such a good relationship bro you know what the best thing about it is because it's so far removed from my actual life i yeah, could just, just tell dump, her every bro, i could same. dump every i'm dumping first same. last name like sin number everything same and same. i have i know it's not gonna have an impact on anything yeah mm-hmm. like she knows about something that happened like out of the past three weeks that nobody else does yeah yeah. and i'm like thank wow. god like yeah. she's it's important i think yeah. that, i think it's important to have relationships like that um but yeah she's like telling me about like all the like every fight that happens whether and whatever one time he sent her like a hundred dollar bouquet of like roses wow. because at work because so yeah because they were like fighting and she was like okay fine like i'll forgive him or whatever and that's toxic like, yeah. and they're fighting <laughs> the, and the, that's next, toxic, week, next week they're fighting about something different Bruh. like yeah you just toxic. bought her love yeah pretty yeah. much that's so shitty yeah, I, yeah. yeah no um but yeah i don't think listen man i did some i did some like facebook digging mm. found out a little bit more about him and her oh my god oh i'm deep into this stop no, i'm, I'm like this. that too like yeah. private investigator shit that's my I'm, jam i checked facebook oh my god uh, like instagram every anything any possible yeah. social media out there i have it on lock yeah uh, yo so okay. i don't think he's ready <laughs> now he's now imagine not. imagine if your kids are telling you the tea yo why are you so upset <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying yeah i'm still doing that like i'm not bad like i my i know if i tell my parents they like they my parent mom doesn't know what instagram is or she doesn't yeah. know how to like stalk people on it if my kids are telling me tea, I am finding every single social media yeah. about her friends. Okay, but wouldn't yeah. you and be I'm upset? Like, if you were the kid in that situation? Like, the, why? Your kid would be upset at you that you're, like, investigating? We do, like, we do it together. I'm sure... Yeah. I, if I'm raising my kid right, she would want to know, too. Oh, my God. Like, I get where he's coming from. No, it's no, like but fun. I'm saying... like if, fun. If, if you knew your parents, like, know how to use Facebook and, and they did all this shit, would you be okay with it? Like, still telling them stuff? Yeah. Then? It depends. Like if if I came up to them and I told them about these things and they're interested in it and like if as long as it doesn't pertain to me, if it's something like well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's stuff about you, your relationship, your stuff like that, and yeah. they and they go on and Facebook snoop? and they do them. I mean, if they do it with me, I'm cool with it. Well, I don't. Like think, if we, snoop I don't think together. they do. It I st- I do that. I do that with I my mom now. I'm snooping through people's no, stuff. I'm I, like, no, oh, but, but this person <laughs> just got married. Like, look. No, but I'm yeah, saying... Yeah, show my mom Instagram stuff. Like, what's the Instagram? Like, yeah. No, I'm saying stuff about you looking for s- your shit. Oh. No, I wouldn't like that. Yeah, I wouldn't that, like that's that. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Okay, that's, that's so... F- that's, like, not even what we're talking about at all. <laughs> I'm talking about sucking other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, no, why I are you know. so stressed about this? <laughs> like... <laughs> why are you so- Shoy is obsessed with this kid. Yeah. Like, no, no. Yeah, Shoy, like, what are you trying like, to say? Yeah, no. you, you want kids, like, tomorrow or something? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have kids. Yeah. Tough. Yeah. I don't Wow. Blink. Bro. Yeah. 23 with a kid. Wow. Yeah. When do you want to have kids? Nah, just drop it. You don't even know when you're gonna get married. I have no idea. So but like idea- ideally by like twenty nine max. Like one? Yeah. Okay. Or like let's say okay, let's say ideally, like let's be realistic here. I got married by twenty eight. Okay. I want to You think you're gonna marry that's still crazy to me that you still think you're gonna get married at twenty eight. Is that okay? Like, are you <laughs> Do you think that's he late? He thinks or that's early? late. I think that's so late. Oh. Sarah, Thanks. I know people. Okay, I'm not. I'm not like I know people He's getting. He's shitting married. on me, bro. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like you're too good to get married that late. Thank I don't you. think it's about being good or bad. It's just like you haven't found. Yeah. like it's true, but like I also feel like people are like like looking. Like there's definitely people looking. Maybe. I I, 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 the, I feel like especially when it comes to this, there's so many factors. Yeah, that there is. You but can't. Like, you can never pin it on one thing. Okay, Le- like sure, if you want to be mature about it, but like, <laughs> no, but it's true. Like, it's true. Shut up. <laughs> I would never. You know, what you know what I'm trying to say? Like, if I'm not financially ready, like I can't. Oh my gosh, guys. No, but it's I can't believe we're having this mean? mature conversation. No, what do you? Anyways, back to what if he's mature? What if he's like financially mature? He's like yeah, but I also feel like I want to provide too. You don't need to. He's he's got it. Okay. Tell him to yeah, put it up. sure. But I don't know. What are you okay financially ready? I just want to put this out there. Um, it's like such a vague thing. Like, there's. It's true. There's so like many there's levels. So, like when. W- yeah. There could be a time where you're never gonna be financially. That's ready. true. If you, I, I don't think I'll ever be financially ready. I think I, I'll come to a point where I just say, "Fuck it, I'll have yeah, to." Yeah, fuck it, you have to do it. Really? Yeah. I don't. I don't like. I feel like. Do I'm, you think you'll ever feel like okay, like I have more than enough? I'm. Let's do it. Like when I'm like fucking 35, 40. Bro, I yeah, feel like that yeah. now. That's so really. Like you do a full. 
ring, wedding, down payment, car. No. I could do that. <laughs> wow. All the above. All the above. No. I mean, like, like in a year or two, I could definitely do that. <gasps> okay. Okay. Respectable. W- like, wow. would you be Guys, doing you everything? Like, w- would it be everything to your satisfaction? Like, would you? Yo, how much are you spending? Can we get, like, put like numbers to this? Okay. Well, Yo, a ring? I'm spending like 25. Okay. 2,500? No, 25K. 25K. On a ring? What do you mean 25? We're spending 2,500 on a ring, bro. Like, two. What? <laughs> that sounds reasonable. 25,000? 25 is also a bit steep. Yeah, that's high? 25,000 on a ring? Yeah. yeah. That, that's no, guys, bit. what? What yeah. ring are you buying? The moon? Yo, how much? How? Yo, yo. They're I don't know. More expensive than you think they are. Okay, fine. Hey, guys, 20? I'm going to look up my ideal ring and see what it costs. Oh, oh, you got Sarah. Sarah, the, the thing is, it's unfortunately, like no, no, unfortunately, it's not about looks. What, unfortunately, when it comes to rings, it's not about how it looks because you, it's, f- yeah, it's the yeah, weight. It's no, not about there's weight like clarity, either. there's Yo, cut, yeah. there's type Bro, of diamond. Yeah. There's guys, 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 guys I, would you? I had this conversation recently with like a few guys. Would you buy a lab like ring or an actual diamond? Whatever she wants. That's the yes, correct answer. Yes, yes. That's whatever she, the correct whatever answer. she wants, but obviously, like if if yeah, if the option was given to me to buy a lab, yeah, I would yeah. do it. But buy I would lab. also I would also do it with like a condition of like no, I like you'll, I will you'll, get you a you'll diamond. get upgraded. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you'll you get, get upgraded lab, down the line. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, and and and, and I I will commit to that. Like I'll commit to that. Yeah, that's cute. Maybe. No, because some people were shook when I said, "Oh, I would prefer a diamond." Yeah. I but think that's reasonable. Like, own. I don't. I don't think you're asking for too much. Like, I, I mean, it, it yeah. Obviously, prices. Uh, obvi- bro, huge I would not like like love the guy less if he got me a lab ring. Bro. Yeah, but like, it's just what? it's just something. It's things. just a preference. Yeah, and especially with, like, especially with 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 girls and and the the rings and the wedding. Like, I I don't I don't think, like me personally, I I would have zero objections with like nor's uh, opinion of a wedding and how yeah. that should look yeah. yeah because that's not my like th- th- that's her dream right and that's not my place to, to cut that off and and that's why if anything like that's my biggest thing of like oh i want to be financially ready like i want to make sure that everything's fulfilled yeah there's no unanswered questions i get that mm. yeah but sometimes you might never be so yeah yeah so well, that's the thing yeah, that's you the, have to that's just the bite thing. the bullet it's true yeah, yeah. it's true I don't know. Maybe kids ideally by thirty. Oh, we went up from twenty nine to thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, poor Sarah. No, guys. Yo, if actually. you get uh, like engaged or married any time before then, I'm I'm also I love these bro. podcasts because it's like such like proof. It's, like, time it's hard proof? evidence. <laughs> it's hard evidence. <laughs> Look back. Yeah. That's honestly true. I, mean, I never even looked at it. I'm gonna like play that. this at your wedding. This like oh snippet. My God. Ideally at like twenty eight. Ideally yeah. at like twenty eight. Yeah. yeah. I always no. think about that. Like y- y- you don't know who's gonna listen to this down the line. That's yeah. true. Maybe your husband one day. Your kids That's one day. That's crazy. Your kids. Your kids one day could be listening. That's to this. cute. I would want my kids to watch this. Yeah. Why I think that's a nice idea. Yeah. Making the kids watch it. Yeah. 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 No, so nice. Captured. Yeah. Captured time, time capsule. Yeah. yeah. Cute. Mm-hmm. Well, Memories. A lot happening. A lot happening. Yeah. Do you want to call it? I was gonna talk about yeah. the submarine. This, the we submarine. Could, <laughs> we could talk about <laughs> so much. Bro, the submarine thing is scary. It's. It started off as funny. And now it's a little sad. Yeah. Because uh, we know, we know, like they ran out of oxygen and they're probably dead right now. It, it, it imploded. But why? Why That's were they going to look for the Titanic? I don't get it. it it's just, it's an adventure thing. Yeah, like it's a, it's look. an experience that they've done multiple times before. Like it's, it's like rich people time. stuff. Yeah. Like Jeff Bezos okay. went to space. The, the the ticket is like a quarter million dollars per person. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So it's people that obviously had money, but. Um, yeah, and it's not the first time they did it. Like they've done it before multiple times, and, and they were fine. They were fine. But then, what did they discover in the Titanic? Like they just want to go that's see it. it. They just that's take it? a look. Yeah, 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 they just look at it. They oh, just go look at it. They're like, oh, yeah, this is this is the Titanic. Yeah, yeah. guys, is there actually like some remains of the Titanic stuff? It, the whole thing yeah. is down there. Oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't know. I yeah, didn't. the whole thing is just covered in like um, algae and stuff, but it's it's fully in there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Stop! I low key want to do it if I was rich enough. Yeah. But not anymore after this. Yeah, there's no chance it's <laughs> ever happening. Yeah, this. there's zero chance. Everyone is like roasting like on TikTok because they're like, "There's no woman at the bottom of the earth. Yeah. There's all men." Wait, what? <laughs> like they're uh, making fun of it because it's, it's like a guy all thing. guys. Yeah. Oh, there's was it no all guys? Woman. It's only five guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. 
it's like four billionaires and one of them is the, the fifth guy is like a son of the other guys yeah mm-hmm. that's really sad uh yeah that it's actually super there's so much like drama around it like yeah. the the ceo of the company is on that yeah and he's like, the pilot yeah. he's the pilot and he uses like the controller and he's getting clowned for it but apparently he like tested it or something well, the, the the thing is, uh, everyone everyone talked about that CEO, and they said that he always took shortcuts. And mm. when it came to safety and stuff like that, he just always kind of bluffed it off and didn't care. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I guess it did uh, him and us. Also, the reviews on the controller on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen those. I've seen, it's like, on Amazon? The controller, it's like yeah. A 50, it's, it's like $30, 30 40 dollars on yeah. Amazon. I, oh, I, I, I have it right there. <laughs> oh yeah we bought the same yeah, one yeah we have the we have, those we have the controller wow the 30 40 dollars at amazon the reviews are like insane that's so funny um what yeah. else one of one of the billionaire's son uh went to a, a blink 182 concert yeah and did you guys do you guys know about yeah, this yeah no he, he went to a concert and he posted about it on twitter and then he wrote um i know it's a hard time for my family right now but my family would want me to be at this concert and his dad is in like a submarine in the middle oh of nowhere, like, and that was like in the middle while they're yeah, searching. This is everything. this is while they're searching, um, and then Cardi B posted a video yeah. making fun of him, and then he responded back saying, "Yo, Cardi B, or like your all of your music is trash now or whatever." Oh my, Cardi's hilarious. Yeah, she's like beefing she's this billionaire actually, son, like yeah. such a troll. I yeah. love her for that. And then he, and then my favorite part is that he replies to Cardi B in a tweet. And then he says, pray for my family, guys. <laughs> and I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> and then he also, like, retweets or replies to uh, an OnlyFans girl. Uh, oh, like, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. He replied to an OnlyFans girl. I'm like, this guy's so wild. His yeah, dad is... It, it's just attention. He just doesn't care yeah. about his dad, I guess. <laughs> it's a stepdad, so I, like... I guess you could understand. What? <laughs> That's so crazy. What, <laughs> what difference does it yeah. make? Still like, your da- no, but... Father uh, figure to y- you. Yes, yes. But a lot of people are just, like, they don't... A lot of people like hate their stepdads. Step like it's and it's because it's not a blood thing, and sometimes you build the resentment because step you, is a you think it's someone that replaced your father. Yeah, true. Yeah. So I, I I don't know what the story is. Maybe he likes him. Maybe he doesn't. But yeah. like from the way that he's <laughs> acting, I don't think he likes him. So yeah, maybe. But it's like there's so, so much funny. going on. Yeah, and they're like they don't have shoes in there. Like everybody's in socks or like bare mm-hmm. feet. Oh my god! And they have that like little porta potty. <laughs> It was a tiny spot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like uh, I can't imagine. That's honestly the worst way to go. Yeah. That's... Well, I mean, thankfully they didn't like suffocate or anything. Oh, thankfully they just died. Like it, it was, it was a quick impact. Like it was an explosion or not? Yeah, implosion, whatever. That's mm-hmm. still so sad. Yeah. It's and sad. There's people it's sad. celebrating. It's it. traffic. Uh, what people, people are celebrating? There's people really? celebrating it because they're like everybody there is a billionaire or something. No, that's they're like not. super no, that's rich people, up. and they're yeah. like, yeah. If you're rich and you're spending this much money, like you deserve, it. I'm like that's actually no. like so what, not what right. What does Those that are, have to do with anything? People yeah. just want to hate for no reason. Yeah, yeah people just want to hate on rich people. Bro, there's a fucking. I think it was like I, I don't remember who, but there was a um, a news like channel, uh, like a newspaper that they published a, an article on Twitter saying like, oh, uh, well, actually, one of them used to donate to the Democratic Party. Who cares? It's like, like what bruh. the fuck? What does that have to like, do with anything? Yeah, like, like a life's who a life. the fuck asks? Like yeah. this is literally a, like what? A life's a life. No matter. Trying to politicize a fucking yeah. guy dying. Like are you guys fucked? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I feel that's actually sad. Like I, I, sad. the memes were funny at first, but no, now it's actually. And like now that I know everything that happened, it's I like, just found out about this today, though. Mm-hmm. Really? Why? It was it? all over my. Thing. Oh, oh well, like in general. T- yeah, yeah, in general. All over my TikTok, all yeah. of these people making fun of the submarine. Well, I I don't know. I think. It's interesting the, the memes. Uh, I look yeah. at it. No, no. I what look at. Mean? I, I'm looking at it from like an outside <laughs> kind of philosophical point of view of like, the, is this how like we are coping now? Is this how like humans like in cope? a funny way? Oh yeah. my god, yeah. I didn't even think of it like that. There's memes about every tragic event. Ever. Like, don't get me yeah. wrong. Don't get me wrong. Uh, um, I like. I definitely saw some of the memes funny, but at the same time, it's not like I'm disregarding. Yeah. What that, happened? That that tragic event and actually feeling bad for yeah. it yeah so it's like yeah it's it, is that what we are now like do we are we coping with it through memes like is that how we oh go? that's 100 percent. yeah I yeah feel- world war three like the war and ukraine and like russia yeah i my feed was like memes of that and there's still yeah. memes happening about it and people are like oh world war three and any tragic event that happens there's memes within mm-hmm. the minute mm-hmm. yeah like immediately wow 
Society's fucked up, low key. Yeah, it is. It's it is. but you know it also like I think about it and it's like okay, like what were to happen if, for example, you you were the person or you see a person that makes a joke at like a funeral, for example. That's so different. <laughs> yeah, but that yeah, that's. A but it depends. Situation. No, but it depends Can't though. Sometimes, like if if done right, some people do it to like lighten the mood, and some people do laugh, yeah. and it, it 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 does lighten the mood of everyone. Depending on the joke, right? Like maybe you can make a joke saying that, like, oh, like he used to always do this to me, and it, it depends was, like, a on funny the joke, story. though. Yeah, like yeah. meme is different than like, oh, you're commemorating something someone did in like kind of like a nice, funny way. Yeah, if That's it's something, different. Different. if it's That's a funny true. story. Oh, like remember when he we used to joke about this? Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not about to hit like a punchline. Yeah. Well, some <laughs> like some yeah. people one liner at him. Some funeral. people view like I think some people view even even if it was uh, telling a good story or telling a funny story about the person, I think some people still view it as like distasteful. It depends. It depends on how. On, it depends on yeah. the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If the person is genuinely like a, or generally a happy person and that's the, his yeah. vibe or their yeah. vibe. It depends on how serious you are. Yeah. I feel like if you're so serious. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. And I, I'm with you too on that. It's just, I don't know. I, it's, it's interesting to me where we draw the line. It also yeah. depends on the person like coping. Like mm-hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm more of the type of person that I, I'll cope through like funny things. Funny I always things. make myself like want to feel like like laugh, so I'm out of awkward situations. Yeah, like, I can't. I will serious. do that. Like I will manically like laugh if something <laughs> bad happens. I'm like ah, or like something so and stupid. And you look like a psychopath. Yeah, like and something just terrible happened, and then I yeah. like I like I'll grieve on it and like my own yeah, like by myself. I'm like that. But if I'm outside, like I'm pretending yeah. everything is a like 100 percent okay like yeah. no problem yeah so like it truly depends on like mm-hmm. how you deal with it yeah, yeah. i was but just yeah. thinking about that today actually like on my drive back that's yes. such a weird like from going back from a nine to five this is what you're yeah. thinking about <laughs> it's a little weird what no i was just saying like, what's what's going on what yeah. what's going on no it, it was just interesting to me because i was like hmm, like well, yeah how do we how do we uh, deal with these things now? Like, how does society deal with these issues? And how do we grow with that over time? We actually don't. Memes. <laughs> Period. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. We're not, we, this ended on such a sad note. Um, or I'll, uh, I always said I want my funeral to be like a roast. Where oh, like, my God. I think that would be so funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm not like a fan of like, like my funeral would be like yeah. sad. I don't want it to be like that. But then do you That's think your immediate like, family would, would, wouldn't like that? They definitely wouldn't. They probably wouldn't. Yeah. But I think it'll be so funny if I'm just getting flamed about like any like uh, like depends like depends on when I die. Oh, bro, I would definitely get roasted. Like I would want to see. Yeah, <laughs> like I want to see what people come up with. Oh, I'm not gonna be there. I'm gonna <laughs> have to. Sorry to tell you, <laughs> I won't be there. But it'll be so funny. Just like some of the best. I, like it just brings it back. Like yeah. I feel like True. that's what we did when we were like kids, mm-hmm. and it'll be yeah. so funny. Yeah, just getting roasted. An open casket has to be like everybody has to see. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but like obviously not. But it'll yeah. be funny yeah. seeing everybody get ro- like roast. You can also roast anybody at the funeral. Like okay, sure. but it also <laughs> it'll be funny. Rules like, of the funeral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will like have them face it out at bro, the door. You know, like <laughs> you know that Mira has rules for when she dies for me. Really? She like wants me to do like things to prepare for it. Like. Get pink not just glitter. A whale? No, no, like, <laughs> oh, okay. no, like get pink glitter and spray it on like the dirt and like. Them. She wants like her like. And she's her serious. Funer- no, she's so serious. She wants her funeral to be catered by Chick Fil A. Like she wants everyone to wear white. She wants only Pop Smoke to be playing. Like that's hilarious. Just, like, the Pop Smoke <laughs> thing is really no, good. No, she's different. And she thinks like that's <laughs> all gonna happen. Like we're all like once I hear Imagine she dies, I'm smoke. gonna like rock action <laughs> time, yeah. guys. I know I have the list. I'm gonna go <laughs> to the dollar store. I'm gonna go to the dollar store and buy pink glitter right away. I, and like, like and like shut everyone's <laughs> yeah, plans down. Yeah, like, hey, Miro's mom, you can't do this. <laughs> we're actually only playing pop smoke. Yeah, here. we're playing yeah. pop smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy. And we're you're wearing white, and we're all gonna get Chick Fil A. <laughs> yeah, no, she's crazy. <laughs> What's the pop smoke song? I can only. Think yeah. of Jello, <laughs> Jello, <laughs> light skin, mellow. Uh, no, so funny. That would be that would be good. I, I might adopt that pop smoke thing to yeah. be honest. No. Only Drake on my feet. Only <laughs> oh Drake. My God. Yeah, but sure, that should be yours. Nah. <laughs> Um, guys, if anybody wants to go to the Drake concert with me, <laughs> yeah, like hit Steven's please? line up. Yeah, please. I w- like let's do it. Why not? Yeah, it's only three hundred fifty dollars. Only could, pocket, yeah, pocket change. We could do it. Like, 
I will finance it for <laughs> you. <laughs> pay in installments, thanks. You guys, just, just scam Steven at Doll. Yeah, don't, don't pay, pay him back. <laughs> free, concert, free. free concert on Steven, yeah. guys. If that's the case, I would have just bought it for a short. Oh my god, you know what you should do? Be like, if this video reaches like well, how many whatever views you want it to I'll reach. I'll take Bajoy yeah. to a Drake concert. <laughs> yeah, or I'll take whoever is like the whatever view. No, the, no, do subscriber. Do, like do a, subscribe. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that's cute. Do like the 200 that's subscriber. 200, yeah, we'll that's cute. Yeah. yeah, that's not happening. We're at like Shut 92 up, or something. Guys. It's going to be like some random. This is growing. Yeah, some random kid. <laughs> Just <laughs> no. trying his luck. <laughs> like, please take me. <laughs> just so some random kid that wants a free Drake ticket. Yeah. That's so funny. You know, I, <laughs> Fuad told me, I was because I, I asked Fuad, he's like, this guy is probably going to a Drake concert. Yeah. He's not. But he was like, yo, send Drake the podcast. Maybe I'll give you free tickets. Are you crazy? <laughs> Bruh. Uh, which is not going to happen. Yeah. But it's okay. All right. It's been so long. I'm going to yeah, wrap it up. Hours. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. We talked for so long. Bro. Thank Actually, you, back by popular demand. Really? Thank you so much, Sarah. Yeah. You I'm know, so happy. I think after the first episode when we had you, I asked Bashoy if like we could do this permanently. I was like, yo. Oh my God, guys, I'd love to do this. <laughs> having <laughs> Sarah Are on, you crazy? Having Sarah on every week like, would be no, insane. No, I, I talk too much. So I'm, I'm, I'm so <laughs> d- I was literally about to tell you guys, you need to make me a permanent co-host. That's a okay, part of the job description. Are no, we, are we doing real, this? I'm so down. <laughs> I'm, guys, let them know because honestly, I'm so down. All right, we're going to have to have a, like a, a board a board discussion board about, discussion yeah. yeah we're gonna have a board discussion about whether to make this uh, official Permanent? or not yeah i mean you always need a girl to balance it out we That's could what I'm saying, what's your availability like guys i'm free anytime <laughs> what's I need this to an <laughs> <laughs> i'm free I, anytime I see you're on your, yeah i see you're on your resume <laughs> you got softball sundays is that, is yeah, that guys, it's part of the group activity. Night shifts oh, or what? Yeah. Can you do night <laughs> shifts? <laughs> yeah, I got you guys. I got you. No, I respect that. That's uh, good. That's good. Yeah. All right, we'll have a board meeting. We'll Thank discuss you for coming, it. Sarah. We appreciate it. Love um, you guys. Yeah. yeah. No bosa. Oh, oh. Are, we, are we ending it? I was I was thinking about what oh. I'm gonna do for my be real. Sorry. Oh, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was spaced out for a second. All right. All right. Well, where did where can they find us? You guys can find us on uh, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And uh, new episodes every Monday. Oh. Did you want to shout anything out? No, guys. I'm. It's all about you. All right. wow. I already shouted myself out last time. Oh yeah. Ooh. It's all good. Did all you right. get anybody? Oh, uh, like sliding? Yeah. No. Oh. Guys, maybe this okay. time. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe this time. <laughs> guys, maybe. please hit her up before 28. <laughs> before 28. <laughs> before 28. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> all, all right. right. Peace. Mm.